Alrighty, ready, ready. We should be live, I hope. Let me switch that to live chat. Let's make sure everything's going good. Should be. I did everything right, I think, this time. Alright. <laughs> should be live, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying your Easter Sunday. Um, today we're going to be continuing more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And we're going to explore more of London and all that. But today we're going to kind of first go over... Um, I guess you could say we're going to go over one of my videos which I recently made which was Ascendus why Assassin's Creed needs a remake. And then I'm going to show you guys a, a new thumbnail for the next Assassin's Creed game that I've already developed. I've already shared this on Discord and Patreon and Ko-Fi. But I haven't shared it with you guys live so I thought it would be a nice idea to bring it towards you guys. But what up guys? Welcome in. Hey what's up Betsy? How's it going? But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys are new here, um, if you guys want to leave a like on this video, no, feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And just so you guys can be updated with my YouTube content, including live streams, videos, YouTube shorts, and other content on this channel. And yeah, let's get into uh, some exploring with some things. And hope you guys are enjoying your Easter Sunday. So yeah, I'm super excited to play this today. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just happy. Today was just a good day. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go right here, switch over right away. I don't even know where I'm gonna display this right away. Let's start. Hold on. I wanted to do something real special first, sir. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm gonna pause that. I'm gonna put my video up here, I guess, on the other side. Alright, so as you guys know, I made a, a video recently. Um, of me, of why Assassin's Creed needs a remake, right? And I wanted to do this yesterday, but yesterday I started it late, so I was like, damn, we just gotta skip through this. So yeah, I just wanted to go over just the step-by-step -step of the process of the way I made it, and then I also talk about the next video we're gonna be making, which is gonna be big. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like, probably two times or three times bigger than this one. And this one took a long time. So as you guys know, I made a video of why Assassin's Creed needs a remake. And, well, you guys will know. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let me put up the video. I don't know if I should make it big or not. I guess we could make it big. So I'll just talk over some parts of it. No books. No wisdom. Just you, fratello mio. Which is cool. Requiescat in pace, Altair. Alright, first of all, like, when I started this video, I was like, what's a good video? I was like, I could do the typical, you know, intro video. You know, that most people do, like, you know, they put a, like, a little intro video, like, what their channel is or something. I was like, you know what? This video isn't about me. This video is about Altair and Assassin's Creed 1. So I was like, what better what better way to show off that than, than basically put... I guess we can make this smaller so it looks better. Uh, what better way that, to show that off than, um, than putting, you know, the scene from Assassin's Creed Revelations <laughs> that shows off how even Ezio respects Altair. And I feel like that was kind of like a callback towards both Ubisoft and the fans. Like, like people forget that everything started with Altair. And I think that was a way to start off the video correctly. I personally love Assassin's Creed. It is one of my favorite games of all time, alongside Mass Effect, Watch Dogs, Uncharted, and so many more. What's up, Russ? <laughs> when I first laid my hands uh, on the Assassin's Creed games back in 2014, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I honestly was just looking for a new game to play from GameStop. Like many people who have answered the franchise, I didn't start with the first game. I personally started with Assassin's Creed 2. And boy did I fall in love with the game and the series right away. Especially with a charismatic character like Ezio. If I Which is true, I did start with Assassin's Creed 2 back in 2014. <laughs> that was my first AC game ever. I had no idea what what drove me to it but i was just like so bored i had played a bunch of different games on the ps3 i was like 
you know what people have been recommending this game <laughs> and i've seen others like i've never seen any gameplay of it or anything just some people have told me what it was about and i was like let's pick this up and look at look at me i'm over here now playing the whole series on youtube <laughs> so yeah uh don't scream my cat is with me and she'll kill me if i wake up her kittens Nah, i'm not gonna scream at least i hope not eventually i got around to playing the first game and i loved it despite its many flaws now every game in the series has gotten a remaster or has been ported to newer consoles except for Assassin's Creed 1 and that takes us to the topics of today of why Assassin's Creed 1 needs a remake and not a remastered version of it. Which it like does. many of you I believe it's time for Ubisoft to put Assassin's Creed 1 back and reintroduce it to new audiences. As See like I like this when I was doing all the video search all the research that I was doing while writing my script. I found this image where it's like, it says, if Ubisoft decided to end the Assassin's Creed series once and for all, I would only hope they end it by releasing a remaster of AC1, but a remaster that includes his whole life, getting to see him be born, then growing up until his whole life. Also include two more cities to explore in Syria, start the series with the Altair and end the series with the Altair, which I think it's kind of true. I don't think that they should end the series with an AC1 remake, but it be nice if we finally get one <laughs> but I, I really fell in touch with that picture i was like you know what i'm putting this in the video <laughs> as well as veterans of the franchise like me we have seen many games make a comeback and become extremely popular again such as resident evil and final fantasy reintroducing resident evil 2 and final fantasy 7 with a remake to new audiences and finding huge success i, I did I it i truly believe the same case could be made for Assassin's creed 1 if it is done and executed correctly now of course there are many issues that can be corrected from the original game for example adding the ability to swim instead of dying if you touch the water yeah i hated that part one minor change that could be introduced in the remake for Assassin's Creed 1. I personally have recently been on a binge Which on I'm right there. <laughs> Assassin's Creed games on my live streams on this channel and it has been really insightful on the many wonders and flaws of the series. Now many of you can agree when I say I think it's about time that we see the first Assassin's Creed game get some love and recognition that it deserves. Now originally Assassin's Creed was supposed to be a spin-off of the Prince of Persia series before eventually becoming its own self-contained universe which I'm super excited that Prince of Persia is getting a remake. By the way, that footage right there of Prince of Persia is actually from the remake trailer. So I'm glad Prince of Persia is getting a remake because I actually played some of the Prince of Persia games. Not all of them, but I did play Sands of Time. And I'm glad it's getting a remake, so we might be playing that too. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> and so also later, it was connected to the Watch Dogs games. Yeah, we also might be playing Watch Dogs soon as well. I don't know when, but definitely I want to replay the Watch Dogs games. Which I personally like that decision, but others of you might not agree with that. But anyways. Uh, do you know how to get Ezio's Alpha on Final Fantasy? No, I've never played any Final Fantasy game. That's actually going to be one of the games I'm going to let you guys vote on. Um, playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. But I, I don't know. I've never played Final Fantasy. Now, if you were to play Assassin's Creed 1 today, it does not look good in any way, especially since gamers like us have been exposed to better graphics and stories in video games. But back in 2007, open world games were not as diverse and rich in lore like they are today. They were kind of just there and kind of bland. So when Ubisoft... Yeah, that, that footage was from Driver 3. I mean, like back then, like the most diverse game I think we had before 2007, open world game, I think was like Shadow of the Colossus on PS2. And even then, it was... It had lore and stuff, but it wasn't as diverse. I, I wanted to clarify that more, but I was like, it's going to take away too much information from that. And then this is actually from a trailer from Assassin's Creed where they're promoting um the Knights Templars. And then this guy gets suddenly killed by Altair and nobody sees how he died. I gave the world a sneak peek to Assassin's Creed. I was like, oh, was I forgot about the trailer. new and different that had never been done before. Ubisoft took a huge risk. He gets and he and Alpha from Relations, but I think it's DLC. Genre. Gotcha. And that project, ladies and gentlemen, was Assassin's Creed. Within the first week of release, Assassin's Creed sold 1.24 million copies, which was very impressive for a game that released back in 2007. It was. But as soon as it released, <laughs> then the reviews for the game came out, and the reviews for the game were and are still currently mixed, with some people praising the open world. And other Oh yeah, there was a lot of negative reviews. I was like, God, some of them are horrible, but I was like, which ones? I'm going to show a few. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> this one made me laugh, but I was like, you know what? I get it. I get why you feel that way. Like this one, he says, when this is the, when this joke of a game came out, the save option didn't work, which it didn't. But they eventually patched that a long time ago, so I don't know if they ever got an updated version of the game. 
They probably just had to delete their save file to fix that. Others criticizing the story and Altair, who is the main character of the first game, for being too abysmal, which basically means... Be and I really, really like this one because it really does explain why Altair in the first game is like, he sounds so boring. <laughs> like, he really does sound boring in the first game. Like, you don't really care about him. <laughs> which I'm glad they fixed all the all the bad stuff with AC1 with and made it better with AC2, but I feel like they could still go back and fix it being too boring and being extremely bad and as a person who has played the game and recently we played it for the second time ever i can see how people feel that way with their first impression of the game and honestly i can't blame them the game itself today is not strong enough by itself but when you connect it to the other Assassin's Creed games it is the foundation of a series that has expanded to many different heights in the gaming industry both good and bad therefore i believe that a remaster of Assassin's Creed 1 would not be successful yeah, like I went and looked up a bunch of Ubisoft memes. I'm not like, this one was good. I found this one on Twitter. I was like, wow, this is actually going to be good for the video. Yesterday, you talked about uh, Calmer. If you didn't play, you can play Resident Evil since it's a horror shooter game. I have played uh, horror games in October. I, ha I have played Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I've only played Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 4. I've never played any of the others, but I'm terrible at horror games. The only way you decide to make an Assassin's Creed 1 remake is because of the money they just wanted to cash grab. Yeah, that's why I put this, these memes right here. And I can assume that Ubisoft feels the same way. After all, the company has to make a profit to make more games in the series. And there's no point in investing in a game that will most likely flop, even if it is for fan service. Therefore, I believe a remake will be both beneficial for Ubisoft, as well as to the new fans and the old fans of the series. I also think it could be it could spark like I have to see it from their point of view too in the eyes of the public again now if I were an Ubisoft's play and I were to give the green light to make the remake for Assassin's Creed 1 there would be plenty of changes that I personally would make for example besides redesigning uh, the graphics of the game I would personally add and replace certain things in the game to make the game feel are cute. They new, are. as well as keeping it as nostalgic as possible to the original Assassin's Creed games one of the biggest changes I would do is replace I mean it's on the crash grab who was but the original it does make sense Altair for Assassin's Creed 1 and bring back Cass Anbar who voiced Altair in Assassin's Creed Revelations I really liked his really acting in Revelations with the voice acting that's why I want him back of a remake than I did with Shabazz and I feel that by bringing back Anbar as Altair it won't only make Altair more interesting as a character but it'll also make new and old fans find Altair to be more interesting as a character and connect him as a person you offered him a chance to salvage his dignity why no man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness but he shunned your graces as was his right Altair I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time it fills me with as much sadness as pride you fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. Yeah, like I really, really enjoyed that cutscene from Revelation. So I was like, damn, this really describes how this really shows how Altair could be humanized. They sleep in your closet with their mother. At least they got somewhere to sleep. But like that scene right there just really shows how human Altair can be. And it really shows how empathetic he can be. Like he's really a person, and we haven't even got to see that in Assassin's Creed 1. Like we just see him. Really not do anything except kill him. Like, we don't really get to see the human version of him. Like, we don't... We get to see the humanized version of Ezio. We get to see the humanized version of Edward Kenway. Even Connor. Even though most people hate him, but I actually enjoy Connor. By changing Altair's voice, we have taken a huge step in making it now more believable. Of Altair changing his behavior from being this cocky assassin who thinks he's better than everyone else. To someone who has learned humility and what it means to be an assassin. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you. And, and through, through you, you it would have corrupted, corrupted us. us. Like, like, even that cutscene alone right there where he kills Amalim with that voiceover, that gives Altair way more character than he got in the whole first game. People were calling Amalim the old man on the mountain. They said he could consume lettuce sometimes, like smoke bombs. I don't know. I mean, Amalim did exist, I believe, in real life, historically, as well, as well as the assassins did. Since this is a, Assassin's Creed One, is actually pretty accurate to the depiction of the real assassins, at least for the most part, in some aspects. For us to live, you 
had to die. One of the biggest criticisms that many people have is how repetitive the missions are. They are. When it They're really repetitive. Especially when a Templar in a region where you would kill them and then right away after that you would have to run, hide, and eventually make your way back to the Assassin Bureau in that region. I personally feel that one of the big changes that could be added is how you can approach it in killing the target uh, by adding different methods and in adding extra cutscenes depending on how you kill the target, just like in Unity and Syndicate respectively. Which they do. This alone, in my opinion, can add extra missions before doing the final killing blow that will make the game feel less repetitive and more approachable for players who have different styles of taking out a target or who prefer to do things in a certain way and still make it seem refreshing for everyone. Yeah, like I really, really wanted a, a, a different way of taking down. Like I really like how Unity and Syndicate both give us different ways of taking down targets. I think that's a real cool concept. And I think if they implemented that in AC1 Remake, definitely already made it a better game than it was. There's no need to rekindle that same feeling of the missions feeling bland. Instead, they should feel refreshed and different every time. Exactly. Now that we're on the topic of adding <laughs> things to me. the game, there's plenty of ways to add side missions and quests that were not in the original game, but that should have been there. For example, the assassins are well known in certain places of the Middle East. During they are the well known game, during this why time. Why not add missions where NPCs play a much bigger role in helping the assassins with information for their targets in exchange for some favors such as defending an NPC from an attack by Templars or by recruiting NPCs into the Brotherhood like Ezio did in Rome and Istanbul respectively. You can like, like that was one of my favorite parts of about brotherhood and revelations was recruiting random npcs out of nowhere and they became your assassins like don't get me wrong i think that would be a cool feature to add in ac1 remake i really love ace like brotherhood and revelations a lot they're not my favorite but they're definitely on my top five the only thing i hate about ac games is the lies ubisoft shows in trailers and ac1 the crossbow well they they were going to include the crossbow originally but they said it was not historically accurate but you know Things have changed. I was going to put more memes about that version, but I was like, that's going to take too much time. And AC Rogue, the hood. Yeah, I didn't like that they didn't include the hood. They should have kept the hood design. I think it looked cool. And in AC Unit, Arnold was uglier than in the trailer. <laughs> you can even add the stories yeah. from Assassin's Creed Bloodlines and Altair Chronicles with additional extra stories that show Altair's transformation and bring him much closer to the way he was shown in Revelations as a wise master who has suffered lots of tragedy in his life. There's so much to Altair here that many fans, including me, know that we haven't explored yet. And, and we haven't. It can we barely be know. Only in a remake like this. Personally, I would love to see Altair and his family travel into the Mongol territory and kill Genghis Khan. I think that would be very fascinating to see in a game. Yeah, because you actually find out in Assassin's Creed Revelations that Altair, when he comes back and finds out that his son has been killed, that they actually were gone, hit... It was him, Maria, and, and uh, Darum that were gone to, to... They went to the Mongol territory and helped, uh, I believe, a, a Chinese assassin uh, kill Genghis Khan. And that, that would be pretty cool as a storyline in itself, like a DLC or something. I don't know. That's just me throwing things out there. But I, I would love to see that. Game. One of the biggest things that has always frustrated me, frustrated me as well as many other players who have played Assassin's Creed 1 is the controllers for the first game feel pretty broken. They are broken. And at times <laughs> it really felt like it was hard to do combat. And I was being nice there. Buildings. I was being nice there. They're like broken. The controllers could be rebuilt to be like the way they were in the Ezio games. I think that would make it feel much more closer to not only the Assassin's Creed franchise, but it would make it feel much more believable when you start the Ethio games. Everyone is Altair. Everyone had his robe. Like, when you wear Altair's robe, you're not wearing his robe. You're wearing a tradition. Yeah, that's the old classic Levantine assassin robe. Robe. Uh, with the redesigned controls like the Ethio games, it would be easier for old and new fans of the series to have more fun when exploring the Middle East with Altair. Another huge, big design flaw, at least for this me This is the biggest one. That I would like to see fixed is the modern day story with Desmond. When we're introduced to Desmond, he's just been kidnapped by a Sergo and taken into the facility. We right. obviously don't know anything about him or his background until later on in Assassin's Creed Revelations. When we find out how he was raised to be an assassin by his parents, how he ran away to New York City, and eventually how he was captured by Absurgo. I think it would be beneficial to see these aspects of the story visualized in the remake for people to feel more sympathetic towards Desmond and understand why he was taken by Absurgo. When yeah, like that's one of the biggest mistakes that I saw in the first game. I was like, we know we barely get introduced to Desmond right away. Like we just know he gets kidnapped. They just put him in the chair and then we're boom, we're right into Altair. We're like, who the hell is he? <laughs> My cat looks at me with a dangerous face. You're fine. But yeah, like like they they just 
abduct Desmond, they don't even give an explanation or a background story. Like I really feel like if they put makes Desmond really sympathetic with an AC one remake, like give us more backstory that we got like from Revelations and put it in visually, I think that'll make us care about him more and understand why he does what he does in throughout the other games. She got one up. Of the thing, one of the big things in the Assassin's Creed franchise that we have never seen is we have never seen Desmond's mother in the games. We've heard mentions of her and her voice in Revelations, but we don't know what she looks like. And I think that would be a nice way to introduce us What's up, a first glance of how De Desmond sees the Templar Assassin's War from his point of view and make it connect more to the other games. If Ubisoft added this, it would make us more sympathetic towards Desmond Miles. Exactly. And give us a better Me. understanding of why he chooses to sacrifice himself to save the people he loves and the world in Assassin's Creed 3. The same could be said about Altair and his beginnings in the game can be changed to be better. We know Altair's mother dies giving birth to him and that his father is executed. He witnesses that event and is, is then raised by Al Malim. But yeah, like the reason why Altair took the last name uh, Ibn al-Lahad, that in Arabic means the son of no one because uh, his mother died and he lost his father very young. So. If you guys don't know, uh, Altair being Alahad means Altair. Altair means eagle, and then Ibn Alahad means uh, the son of no one. So he took that name because you know he lost both his parents. He never got to know his mother, and his father was executed. That's why I was like, that's really important that we should see that. Like we just know these names, but not many people know the lore. And we never saw Edwards and Connor's wife. Um, we know Con. I know Connor gets married, and we do see his daughter in one of the comics, but we don't know what she looks like. She's just a native woman, but I don't think they showed her. But I personally would like to play a segment as a young Altair witnessing and being traumatized by the death of his father. Thank and you. seeing Abbas' father confess to Altair that he was the one who betrayed his father before killing himself. This would make us understand why Altair in the beginning of the game does not care about the creed. Or the lives of his fellow assassins like you really could tell like in the beginning of the game Altair doesn't care about the creed remember um the tenets of the creed is um you can't take the lives of the innocent and, and like Altair literally breaks all the tenets of the creed in the first moment like he literally kills an innocent civilian just working in the mines like i was like bruh and you remember his punishment like they were they were gonna kill him except al malim you know tasked them for his redemption took away his rank of master and put him back to novice so it makes more it would make more sense of why he doesn't care if they gave us more backstory of Altair like in the beginning Altair has been a, given a terrible hand and we should see how how he deals with it if Ubisoft adds these events into the remake it will not only reinforce how human Altair is and why Abbas hates him and eventually turns into a villain later on but we'll also understand how Altair eventually falls in love with That's Maria Thorpe who is a Templar and eventually they would have two sons Darum and Seth respectively I would also like to see Altair's connection to his family and how he personally took it when he found out his son Seth was executed by Abbas and his assassin I personally believe that like you could tell in this scene in Revelations this is when he finds out that well he knows that um, Abbas killed his son Seth and he's pissed like you could tell he's pissed right here but I want to I want to see him like actually cry or something like find when he found out that his son died and got killed I talk about how you killed a man and you say killed millions yeah oh yeah that's why you got yeah you remember in the first game he literally got stabbed by Al Malim they were gonna kill him because he broke all the tenets of the three tenets of the creed um which was uh stay the flesh of the innocent i i, I forget most of it but the first one is stay the flesh of the innocent so you don't kill innocent people that's why you desynchronize if you kill innocent people as an assassin in every game because that's one of the parts of the big creed is that you're not supposed to kill innocent people only your targets these events are added into the remake which shows how vulnerable Altair was and how it drove him to study the apple of Eden deeper. For being such an important figure in the Assassin's Creed series, Altair is pretty forgettable and I think if they implemented all these changes in a remake, it would not only be beneficial in helping establish Altair I really love that scene right there. In, in being more human but also make him into one of the most important assassins in history. There are many things that could be improved upon in a remake of Assassin's Creed but what are your thoughts on a remake for Assassin's Creed 1? Do you think Ubisoft should remake Assassin's Creed 1? 
one and if you do what are some of the things you would like for them to add in the game to make it better let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i'm your host kester and thank you for watching my video if you like my video please feel free to hit the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified of my videos upcoming live streams and shorts on this channel also feel free to check out these other videos here and thank you so much for watching go be with your family and live well all that is good in me began with you father yeah i really love that i i ended that i ended i put that scene at the end just to emphasize how much we should love assassin's creed like the way that Darum says to altair everything good started with you i think that's the way we should treat assassin's creed one like treat it with love and respect because that's that was the foundation of everything that we got for the assassin's creed franchise it might not be perfect but it's the beginning and i feel like they really showed respect towards altair and revelations but i feel like they could pay even more respect by doing them properly in ac1 remake by the way by all the suggestions i made by fixing uh the, the story with desmond by giving all the flashbacks by putting uh altair chronicles and um the other altair game all together mix and mash and with new missions and stuff perfect you you humanize altair you change the voice you you make Altair the most important character, and he's not forgettable at all. Most people don't know who Altair is because they skipped the first game. Like, most people start with a different game. You know, they might start with Assassin's Creed 2. They might start with Black Flag. They might start with Origins or Odyssey or, you know, whatever. They don't start with Assassin's Creed 1. And I feel like if they did this, huge respect to the origins of why Altair is such a huge, important um, person in the game. Let me catch up with chat. <laughs> Altair doesn't care about breaking into the Creed. None of the other assassins work. Yeah, like he's the only one that literally starts from scratch all over again. I want them to make AC Versailles. They did it with Ezio's family. They could do it with Shay or Shay when he became an assassin. Like they could make a new theme too. Like if they make the if they mix maybe Rev, the Revelation theme and Ezio's family, I think that would be a perfect theme for Altair personally. They could make a remake of Assassin's Creed 1 and put it on next gen, and I'm gonna see next gen PS5 remake of Assassin's Creed 1. Yeah, like it's it's about time since that Assassin's Creed definitely needs a remake. Assassin's Creed came out in 2007, and we're in 2022 and we still haven't gotten a remake and a remaster. All the other games have been either remastered or have been ported to newer consoles, and I feel like it's time that it, it gets a remake even for the PC version. I think that would be awesome. And I just recently heard that Max Payne is getting a remake, or I believe it's a remake or a remaster. I think it's a remake, which is going to be nice. Max Payne 1 and 2. I love those games, too. So I was super excited. I feel like now that they're remaking all these games, they, they need to do this with, with Assassin's Creed 1. Oh, also, guys, I'm going to give you a quick preview since uh, the next game after Syndicate is Origins. I have already made the thumbnail. I posted this on Discord as well as on my Ko-Fi and Patreon. But I want to give you guys on stream a, a look of, of the thumbnail for Assassin's Creed Origins. Let me just close this and open this. Up oh, and it's on the wrong side. There we go. Look at the thumbnail. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Um, yeah, all the games came out like in 2007, 2008. They all look great. Yeah, it's time to put it on PS5 to have ray tracing. Yeah, like... We can have ray tracing and all that now. My first AC game was AC4 Black Flag. Then when my console broke, my brother gave me his old one. And on it, there was AC2, 3, and I buy it AC4 and Rogue. Yeah. Like, most people don't start with Assassin's Creed 1. They start with uh, Assassin's Creed, you know, 2. Either the Ezio games, Black Flag, and uh, U Unity for some people. Or they, they start with the RPG ones, which is Origins, Odyssey, and Bahala. No one ever starts with one. <laughs> and that's why I feel like it's time to give AC1 a lot of love. That's why I made that video. I was like, you know, we, we need to remake it and make it better. But yeah, this is the thumbnail for Origins, guys. I just made it today. So it's already ready to go. But I think it looks cool. Look, you can see the hieroglyphics. I kind of made them transparent so it doesn't mess too much with the picture. So you see the little hieroglyphics. There's Bayek. There's the Pyramids of Giza. There's a dude riding a camel. I think that looks pretty sick. <laughs> Overall, I like the design. I was messing around like a, with a lot of different designs, but that one came out good. But yeah. 
Anyways, let's go back to starting uh, Syndicate. <laughs> we wasted enough time. Uh, let me turn off this. But yeah, I just wanted to cover that. I wanted to do all this yesterday, but I was so busy. I never played AC1 Brotherhood Revelation, the remix. Oh, you need to play Revelation and one. Re Revelation does a lot of, a lot of good work. I would say. It it has a lot of potential. All right, so we're, now we're jumping into Syndicate. Now that I'm all warmed up. <laughs> I'm ready. Assassin's Creed Remake on PS5, Xbox Series X. It's probably going to cost 60 bucks. Yeah, I don't mind if it costs the full 60 bucks. But if they add and do all the things I stated, it's worth it. That's like worth, worth 70 bucks, 60 bucks, whatever the price is. I would hands down buy it if they remade it like that. Like, like they if they put the love and dedication and, and put it for the fans and make it good... It's it's worth it and it'll pay off. Like you guys saw how Final Fantasy VII Remake and Resident Evil 2 Remake did so well. And you can tell how much love they, they put into that. Resident Evil 3 Remake's a different story, but Resident Evil 2 Remake. You know. It's good. Horrifying, but it's good. <laughs> um, do you know they didn't have DLC for the first game? I know. That's why I think if they put all these things that I suggested, it won't have to be DLC, it'll just be a part of the whole experience. All right, so we got 35% of the game. Um, I didn't play C1 because I don't have it, but I'll play it one day. I swear to you, I'll one day play all the state games and have 100% synchronization. I mean, I don't have 100% synchronization on everything. Um, I've only 100% synchronized Assassin's Creed 2, 3, Black Flag, uh, Unity, Rogue, Syndicate, Origins and Odyssey. Brotherhood and Revelations are really hard. And then Assassin's Creed 1 is not really worth it because there's not really any trophies. So I was like, eh, whatever. Because <laughs> uh, Assassin's Creed 1 came out in 2007 when trophies didn't exist yet on, the, on PlayStation. So you won't get any trophies on PS3, but I think... I'm not sure if it has achievements on Xbox. I don't think so either. Because it was before all that. <laughs> It was way before all that. All right, we're here. All right, so we just started yesterday going to the city of London. So we're going to take over this whole borough. We're going to try to take over all of this today. <laughs> Will I do it? I don't know. But we'll try. All right, so I'm going to take over the whole territory, territory here. Or actually, since I took over this, I'm going to get all the collectibles and just go over. All right, we got a helix glitch here. AC didn't even have you play. Yeah, you play didn't exist till like Assassin's Creed Two, I think. Yeah, you play didn't exist till Assassin's Creed Two, which is two thousand nine. I think it either came out two thousand nine, two thousand eight, but I know Assassin's Creed Two is the first one that have you play. Um, dude, I got my sixteen thousand gamer score on Xbox. Nice. Dude, my gamer score is so low on Xbox because back then I, I did have an Xbox. I had an Xbox 360, but I didn't really play any games on it. <laughs> I had it for a short while, but then I got the Red Ring of Death and I was like, really? It was sad. It was sad. Sad days. That's the one. I love the 360, but I was so sad when I got the Red Ring of Death. So I didn't really earn much achievements and I only played the original Xbox because my cousin had that and then by the time I, I, I restarted Xbox and stuff I uh, I didn't even remember my account so I had to make a new one my my Xbox accounts not that high right now because I've only played a few games I played the Master Chief collection <laughs> And that's only because of the Xbox Game Pass on PC. Not because I have an Xbox. Do you know what's the most forgotten model of the Xbox? There's one model of the Xbox 360 is forgotten and I was shown in 2013 I have the model. No, I'm not sure which one. 
They made AC1 in 2007 and called it a simple project. Then in 2009, the year I was born, they said, hmm, let's do another game. What the hell? Why is this not collecting? Bruh. I'm right here. Okay. Let me try this again. Bruh. <laughs> what? Alright. It's not collecting for whatever reason. What? Is it not high enough or am I doing something wrong? I don't think I can aim all the way from over there. Yeah, I should be able to get that. Bruh. Hold on. Let me fast travel up here and see if it's not glitch or something. Because maybe that's what happened. I don't know. <laughs> uh, said alright. If we get money, we'll make an AC game plus DLC next year. I know they were working on uh, Saturn's Creed Infinity, which is supposed to be like an ever ongoing project. But yeah, I rather favor something that doesn't require online. Because I know they're trying to do a Saturn's Creed Infinity, like what Final Fantasy XIV is, which I don't agree, but we'll see. I fast traveled because I don't know why I'm not getting it. Let's see if it's an issue. I don't know if it's me or if it was the game there. <laughs> I feel like Assassin's Creed Infinity is going to be this one game It's going to cost you 70 plus DLC. No, well, I think it's, it's they're going to try to do a Final Fantasy 14 where you have to buy a membership or something to continue the game. That's how I bet Ubisoft is making it. I'm probably wrong, but I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> but if I'm not, mark my words. That's what's going to happen. I hope not. I I hope I hope they just keep Assassin's Creed the way it is. I don't want to pay for a subscription or anything, cause that'd be dumb. Like I love Assassin's Creed, but I'm like that. <laughs> I have it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Um, see, Kessler, when you were getting yourself an AC2, I was a newborn. Well, actually, I didn't play Ace Assassin's Creed 2 till. Like my first is that I didn't play Assassin's Creed 2 to 2014. I was, it was like my, it was, I was still in my first year of college <laughs> when I got into Assassin's Creed 2. AC2 played in 2021 for the first time I was born in 2008, I was not around the golden age. Hey man, I joined in late too on the Assassin's Creed franchise. Any, anybody could join on the Assassin's Creed franchise. There's just gonna be a lot more games the more you start later on. I started with two and then I played Brotherhood Revelations and once I played Revelations I was like, let's go back to one. So I didn't start at the Golden Age either. There we go. That's what I was trying to do last time. I think it was just the game that was bugged. So like two years ago, I wish. Assassin's Creed 2 was 2014. That was, let's see. I mean, 2024 is just like 10, two years from now. So like eight years ago, I got into the Assassin's Creed franchise for the first time ever. So it's been eight years of me loving this franchise. And this is my favorite franchise of all time. And that's a lot of praise because I've played, you know, a bunch of different games. Like I love Mass Effect too. That's probably the next game that I know the the most about, as well as this one. You say you were late, but I joined in twenty twenty one. Yeah, but I mean, you can still join. <laughs> like it's not bad. 
The important thing is starting and keeping true. Like if, if you don't like open world games, you're not gonna be into this this game. Like if you don't enjoy open world games, you're not gonna love these Assassin's Creed games. That's what a lot a lot of people have a wrong opinion about or why people right away give up on the franchise because it's an open world game. An open world ain't for everyone. <laughs> it's for me, but not for everyone. Um, on December 25, 2021 was the day I first ever heard Scene play DC, and now it's been a year since I joined the Brotherhood. See? Uh, you're never old enough to not enjoy Assassin's Creed for what it is. You may not have played all the games, but... You enjoy the beauty and the concept of it. What the heck is this chest? Oh, it's all the way down there. Bruh. I was like... I was like, what? An open world? <laughs> yeah. People really don't... Like, people get tired of Assassin's Creed Fast because they're not used to playing open world games. Like, I love open world games. That's just me, though. Like, uh, other people who enjoy other different types of games. Like, I like open... If it's open world and action adventure, you got me sold already. <laughs> you got me. And that's fine. I mean, other games... Other people might like, you know, JRPGs, RPGs, MMOs. Um, st story games. Whatever. Multiplayer games. Do you American know what Van is? If you mean by Vans, like the shoes? I know what that is. Or unless you're talking about like Van Halen. <laughs> then yes, but... Talking about the shoes... Yes. Yeah, Vans are the only... The shoes came up as what was my first thought. <laughs> Here we got a book. We got the pressed flowers. There's the little artifact of London. Shoes closed. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know Vans. I've, I've, I used to actually wear a lot of Vans shoes in high school. <laughs> I wasn't a skater, but I love the design. I love, I love skater shoes in high school a lot. It was probably, probably, probably the primary shoes I wore. I can't skate for Jack, but. <laughs> I definitely liked skater gear when I was younger. Alright, let's go over here and loot more chests because I need money, money, money. How much money do I have? Oh, we definitely need the money. We broke, broke. Alright, move it or lose it, pal. make sure that that wasn't in the red zone i don't want to go into the red zones right now because there's usually a lot of enemies in those yeah yeah lady calm your horses all right so there's a helix glitch around here Oh, it's literally right here. That was gonna be like in between the building or something. Oh my god, I missed something? Bruh. That's a bruh moment. Uh, 
Um, they have a strong collab with Roblox, made their own game called Vans World in which they put merchant shoes and you could skate and now you can ride BMX. Oh, really? I mean, like I, like I don't play Roblox, so of course I don't know. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I don't know why it was not letting me collect it. Hmm, should we hijack the cargo, guys? I feel like we should. Oh, hey, guys. I should have just climbed on board. Alright, well, that was my bad. Alright, let's not do that again. At least for the foreseeable future. No, they're fighting with the cops and everything. I just started a gang war. <laughs> Yay! Not a good thing to celebrate, but terrible. Oh, have fun, guys. Where's this chest? It's inside the house. All right, there's a window right here. Oh my god, I was trying to climb and I went through the house house. Oh my god, no, Evie, climb! I wanted you to climb to the side, not down. There we go. But I can't get the darn glasses. What glasses? Is there like an exclusive gear you're trying to get? Alright, let's go. Alright, we're good. I don't see any more collectibles in here. No, that's... Alright, let's go up there. Hey, man, as long as I'm getting paid, I got money. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting a zipline all the way across. <laughs> I didn't think I had that reach. To be honest. I didn't think we, we had that far of a reach. Dude, I just love climbing all the Industrial Revolution, even though look at all this pollution. <laughs> I would not want to live during this time. But still, it's a sight to see. But look at all this pollution, though. Pretty sure it was like, pretty hard to breathe and there was probably a lot of asthma <laughs> during these times. Horrible. But at least I'm getting to see it from visually from a game perspective. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to block me. Oh, wow. I did not expect that to happen. Now, with the release of the BMX, they added three more items. An umbrella with the logo um, that you have to find on the map. A pigeon that you get by collecting 15 on the map. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I would have zero idea. I mean, I've never played Roblox in my life and I have no intention to. But I have respect for those that enjoy it. Ah. Uh, in a darn bucket with the white logo, I wasted my weekend to get it. And I said about the glasses in the comment, you didn't read it. No, I read it. Industrial Revolution costs the world that that is climate change. Yeah, no. Um, the Industrial Revolution created a, a lot of problems. It created a lot of technological advances. But it also created a lot of environmental hazards. Well, we died, but at least we got closer to our goal, right? W. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. 
Right, is this on top of the building? Yeah, it's on top. I had to be sure. Alright, luckily I upgraded my lock picking to be to the max. And the lock picking isn't as 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 badly designed as um as as Unity. Like I really didn't like the lock picking system in Unity. It was kind of okay in in, in AC three, but nah. Alright, let's do this. Um, alright, we got a helix glitch here. Where exactly? Oh, okay, it's literally right here. You just zip line across. There we go. There's a beer bottle over there. I don't know why it's a collection item, but it is. Um, no, you didn't. I said on the, the website they're giving a code for free. They're redeeming to give your Xbox. Oh, that didn't, that message didn't pop through. I didn't see it on my end. I saw the message. You said you couldn't redeem it. Yeah, that message did not pop through on my end. And maybe the code is region locked. Like, you know, where, like, how some games, if you try to buy certain online games, you can only buy them at, at a specific prices or in the region or something. Maybe that was the issue. It's just you were probably outside of the region that supports that code. Which has happened before, even to me. <laughs> I'm like, really? I can't redeem this game? Beer bottles. You can do a train robbery, but I, I just want to get my collectibles. Alright, we can either go up here. Let me get this heal glitch. It's like just way out there by itself. Nah, I just can't get it on the website. It's called Vance Family. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's probably. I don't know. If, Maybe they don't support Romania or something. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> there could be different reasons. It could also be because it's age locked. I don't know. Alright. There we go. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to get that or not. Alright, we're almost done getting the collectibles for this whole... Well, this part of the borough. I think this is the way to do it, is to clean out one area and then get all the collectibles and then clean out the next area and then get the other collectibles. It's been working out well so far. And another thing, sometimes Roblox makes items for people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying. It's probably I, I, by restricted or region locked. That's what I mean. It's only for specific areas like... Like how you said, the UK, uh, the United States, Spain. It's just gone. Yeah, I mean, it could be that just because of your region. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not saying that's the actual cause. I'm just saying that that might be the cause. How do you get in here? Yeah, it's inside. Uh, okay, there's a chest. I don't know if that, that chest is out here. Oh my god. Oh, we're not dead. Alright, let me get into this building right here. Oh my god. Oh my god, game. Let me get down. Like a normal person. Alright, now how the heck do I get over there from here? 
Oh, don't we have to do a bank heist later on? I, I kind of remember this. There we are. I believe we later on, if I remember right, from when I played the first time, there's a bank heist here and we have to stop it. Uh, when AC3 dropped, everyone starts grossing uh, the crap out of it. Yeah, I mean, I, my next video is going to be covering Ezio, like his whole life. And why he's... And why he's the perfect assassin. And then after that, I'm going to do Connor and Edward and <clears throat> so forth and so forth. You know. <clears throat> Until I catch up to where I'm at. <clears throat> but I, I really like Connor. Like, I used to hate him. <laughs> Trust me, I was a bona fide Connor hater until... Uh, until I, I played the remastered. The remastered Assassin's Creed 3 really changed my mind about the way I saw Connor. It really changed my, like, my whole perspective, and I'm too short. I should be able to get it easy. Um, Did you ever play SCP games? What's SCP? I don't know what's, what does SCP stand for. Can nobody respect the games because y'all eh, miss Ezio? Uh, right, that's what I'm saying. Like they didn't give Connor a chance. Like his his sword is actually pretty good, especially when you do the the settlement missions. Like they really humanize how Connor feels, and they most people give a lot of criticism because of the way Connor sounds. But that's just how Native Americans talk. Like literally, the guy that portrays Connor is an actual Native American. <laughs> that's just. The way they speak monotone. That's literally how they speak. Like, it's accurate the way he's speaking. They just give Connor so much crap. Because <laughs> they miss Ezio. But Connor was written pretty well. I didn't really understand. Like, I really didn't like Connor. And it took me until I played the remastered recently. To actually like him. <laughs> I was like, wow, I actually paid attention to the story. I wasn't just letting my bias get get the best of me. And I feel like that's what a lot of other AC fans do is that they they judge it because they played, you know, the other games. Yeah, I mean of course Connor's no Ezio, but he's got his own things his own way. Uh my cat jumped on my bed and she's staring at you. This is everyone in 2009 to 2011. Right, with Ezio? Of course. And then they booed uh, AC3, and then when AC4 came out, then everyone caught back on the bandwagon. Oh, the Assassin's Creed is great again. And then... And then... The, the bad part is that they released Rogue and Unity at the same time. That's what messed it up. Most people didn't play Rogue because it came out the same day as Unity. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Uh, SCP, the family with uh, monsters in it. The one that people love it. Just search on YouTube or look at an SCP game. I don't know what SCP is. I swear. I did download a game that says SCP. Uh, I, I have a... I downloaded the game because my friend recommended that we should try SCP Containment. I have that downloaded on my PC, but I haven't played it. I don't really know much about it. Oh my god, did I miss the newsletter? Bruh. Oh, please tell me that's the only one I missed. I thought I got that. I got that. And uh, they love Connor because they were sick of Panelist, Bayek, and Alexios. Uh, well, technically it's Cassandra. That's the main canon character. And Eivor is a female. I played Alexios on my first playthrough on, on 
on the New Game Plus playthrough that we're going to do, we're going to be playing as Cassandra, the main character. We're going to be playing the canon characters in those games. But this, that's some bullcrap right there. Everyone hated Connor. And then next, next to you, y'all love Edward and Black Flag. All the mechanic from EC3. And then there's something new. Yeah, it's literally the same stuff as the SCP-3. They just made it better. <laughs> but then that's the exact naval missions from AC3, just open world. <laughs> Alright, last chest, and then last helix glitch, and then we're gonna open this side of the map. Get out of the way, people! Oh my god. Look, I learned to drive my own way. I search what SCP stands for and after some images, I'm gonna hug my can and don't sleep. I know it's supposed to be like about ghosts or something. Can you fix the bugs in every AC3? Does Ubisoft doesn't give a crap in 2016 or something? I mean, in 2015 they fixed most of the bugs. Like, Syndicate was a perfect game. Most people just forgot about this game. This game's actually pretty well done. And Unity, they eventually did patch it really good. It's just by the time they patched it, it was too late. Like, most people had moved on. Oh wow, that went directly where I needed it to go. Hey, what's up, Teddy? How's you doing? Hopefully you're enjoying your Sunday and happy Easter. Um, by the way, SCP Containment is a really cool game. I think it's multiplayer. You should play it. I have it. It's already downloaded on my PC. I just haven't played it. It's literally on my PC already downloaded. I just haven't played it. There's certain games I've been playing offline on my own. Alright, let's do a Templar hunt. Templar hunt! Templar hunt. Alright, should we hijack this cargo? Let's do it correctly this time. Oh, come on. Get on, get on. Go, go, go. Ah, don't throw me off. Get the hell. So this is my card now, pal. Go, go. Let's get out of here. Dude, we're causing so much chaos. Go all the ways you don't expect me to. Got him, flipped him over. Uh -uh. Let's go, we lost him. Oh my god, the game lagged a bit there. Uh -uh. Oh, well, that one's splendid. That was pretty fun. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Um, why do people hate the new games? Like about us seeing this person reviewing this game. Ever just dis disappointed to him? My day's going good. I've just been playing some AC One and reading Batman Hush. Also happy Easter. Nice. I hope you enjoy Batman Hush. It's really good. Hmm. 
I haven't read comics in a little while, but Batman Hush is definitely good. It's not my favorite Batman comic. The Long Halloween is my favorite one. Jack the Ripper DLC is good. Yeah, we'll be playing that once we finish the main game. For sure. Your cat's checking on her kittens. <laughs> of course. That's what mama cat's supposed to do. Alright, let's go do a Templar hunt for real this time. There you go. I just had a little fun there. Oh my god, I didn't expect it for it to drift and... Well, I don't know if that guy's hurt. Or worse. Uh, assassins don't kill the innocent and proceed to flip over a character point and land on an innocent so the assassins kill the person who is the Templars? Right. <laughs> and that's one of the things I was like, huh? Why? <clears throat> Alright. Oh god. Am I? Cause I'm just going up. <clears throat> oh wow. <clears throat> they had a sniper here. Uh, see how many enemies we got. Uh, stealth kill the target using a smoke bomb. Oh, okay, that's pretty easy. Oh my god, I didn't even see that lady. I was about to drop my smoke bomb and then I saw her. There's no there's no way out for you. And I'm like, what the hell? Who's talking? Alright, we got a smoke bomb. Alright. Oh, uh, what? That didn't count? Ah, uh, whatever. I took the smoke bomb. I, I think I landed on her before the smoke bomb deployed. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, whatever. <clears throat> I was too early on that one. Uh, I was still kidding. I'm going to be honest with you. It took me a better long time to figure out who the bad guys were, so I watched... Uh, so I watched the movie Assassin's Creed. Yeah, you'll understand. <laughs> Thief being completed, kid and acquired. The stealth in this game is just amazing. I agree. I just didn't perform it as accurately as I should have, but it is pretty amazing. Alright. What's the next mission? No, that's not the one I want to do. Let's do this one, Gang Stronghold. Gang Stronghold. Gang Stronghold. We're just ziplining like, like, like it's nobody's business. Man, I can't wait to play Spider-Man though. Oh, now I'm dying. Nope, that was a big mistake. <laughs> Alright, I should be able to zip line all the way over here. Alright, do not let the lookouts call reinforcements, kill the leader and detect it. Alright, easy enough. Alright, that should be easily doable. Now, how many enemies am I dealing with? Wow, there's a lot. Now, there's a lookout right here, so... There we go, got both of them. Mm, the game is kind of a hidden gem. You're right, like, when mo a lot of people don't appreciate this game. Like, I really like it more than Unity.
Uh, the lookout's over here, so... There's also another one right there. I didn't even pay attention if there were snipers on the roof. <laughs> Go, got him. Uh, there's another lookout and a chest right here. What a coincidence. Oh, damn, there's a sniper right there. Go, go, go. I didn't even see her until. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm too far away. There's a lookout here I need to kill. Come on. I don't know if I'm far away enough. I don't want to jump down there and then they're like, Oh, he's here. Or she's here. And then I'll be like, bruh. Okay, I got him. I threw two knives just in case. Savages, where? Alright, well, I killed the guy. Um, I've been hearing news about Assassin's Creed called Rift. Yeah, I've been hearing about it too. They said this game is one of the last ones with the hidden ones. We'll see if it goes back to the actual assassins. I mean, the hidden ones are still assassins. Technically, since that's what they were called originally in Origins. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Now I have the hidden blade I created to go suddenly in someone's neck, then why do I suddenly get it loudly in someone's back? Now it won't be the last of the AC games, but I feel like it might be the end of the RPG era, maybe. Or the last one with the hidden ones. <clears throat> the newest one we'll be getting with Basim and we'll be in Baghdad. Yeah, I think you spelled it correctly. Alright, please get close to it. So I can make you go berserk and you guys just destroy yourselves. Come on. Actually, let me kill the sniper. Cause... <sighs> I can't really hit her. Alright. Hmm. Come on, kill him for me. Get him! Get him! Get the target! There you go, that's what I'm talking about. W. Damn, this guy is going all out. Nah, he's dead. There's just three people I need to kill. Trouble. I'm leaving. Ah, that was easy. Um, is that the protagonist for the game one as this game comes out? Choose flashlight or torch? Torch, I guess? I don't know. See, I got that one pretty easily. Let's do the bounty hunt. Alright, she have enough to upgrade the skill. Right, let me see, we got Execute. We got Knife Master 2. Here, twice as nice. Stealth 3. Ah, so tempting. But I'm gonna have to go with Stealth 3. I'm so tempted to go with the knife master because I like using the knives a lot. Uh, 
No, go down. What are you doing? Might as well get these chestnuts up here. I watched why your uh, AC1 needs a remake instead of a remaster, and after watching it, I can agree that it needs a remake instead of a remaster. Yeah, we were just reviewing that video over at the start uh, at the start of the stream. <laughs> we were just overviewing that before you joined Teddy. But it needs a remake. It doesn't need a remaster. It doesn't stand by itself. Like every single empire is a collapse between they're so dumb all the territory just came independent. They lost all the powers that was powerful never again. How long? Uh, British confirmed he chose torch. Kester in America torch means ancient source of light like bikes. England torch means flashlight like uh, British man. Gotcha. I'm British. There's no way. I don't know. I don't even know. If, I don't think I even have British ancestors. That's a pot, but I might. I don't know. I wish the animus was a real thing so we could actually find out who our ancestors were. Like you could be related to someone entirely famous, and you don't know. This is why I want the Xbox One to the screen because I have. I haven't hit hidden gem or something because they look gorgeous to play. Yeah, the games get improved overall with each new series of consoles. I love PC. You know that video that I made of why Assassin's Creed 1 needs a remake? That took me, uh, I wrote seven pages. <laughs> that was my script that I was reading. Seven pages. And I, and I shut that down to like 11. Um, about less than 12 minutes. And that's only because I read fast. <laughs> Um, you choose torch instead, flashlight your British in their language. Imagine being related to. Actually, there is a person that's actually related to Adolf. Believe it or not. I believe if you Google one, one of their dis one of his descendants is actually alive. But I'm pretty sure there, there's some people that might be a descendant of Adolf without knowing it. <clears throat> it's all impossible. So you could be one of those uh, Cristiano, Cristiano's Ronaldo son? I doubt it. As, uh, he was born way before my time. <clears throat> and I'm not adopted, so... <laughs> I doubt it. Bring back the target alive, but I don't even see her. I don't want to do a leap of faith. I just want to climb down. <clears throat> There she is. Okay, now I can do a leap of faith. Alright. <clears throat> What's your name again? Mod Foster. Alright, turn around, lady, and I can just kidnap you. <laughs> That's not so bad. Oh, wait, there's another guy here, too. Got her. If you want to live, don't oh! make a sound. Don't hurt me, please. Shut I'm up, lady. Simple woman. Let me go. No, you're not. Hush you're, now. you're 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 Templar. Keep quiet. You're the worst. I was in the clear. That doesn't make me want to let you go. Listen, life is a bit tough at the moment. Surely you understand. I like how she's trying to bribe me. Resorting to theft. We're just casually going through the straw. That cop right there by the door might be the problem, though. Ugh. Alright, come on, cop. Come on, move. 
Like, I'm keeping my circle small so that I don't get detected for any reason. Alright, now we need to find a carriage. Boys, you got a carriage for me? Aha, there's one right there. <laughs> Coincidentally. Alright, shove her in there. Uh, let me see. Uh, what if you're related to the real assassins in the Animus' real world? Do you want to experience your ancestors' memory? I would. I, I wouldn't care if they're good people or not. I still want to know who they were. Mm, 2016, I know they made a movie in 2016. Assassin's Creed Wife did not make the movie into the game. Actually, the movie is actually connected directly to the games. It's not a separate universe. They actually referenced the Assassin's Creed movie in Origins. They reference or uh, the Assassin's Creed movie and Assassin's Creed Origins if you read the documents. At school, we learned British English, not American English, but because I watch YouTube a lot and okay games, I talk American English. Yeah, well, I mean, technically, British English is the proper English, but every region eventually develops their own dialect, so. Americans have a different English, just like how India has a different English than England. Even though they might all be come from the same roots, they change over time depending on the region that they are. Move it, move it or lose it, kid. Move it or lose it. Uh, I did not make that into a game. <laughs> oh, I did not make that into a game because I literally cash crab. You almost have the type of technology to make the animus. I mean, if we do, I would like to know my ancestors because I don't really know much of my family history. Hmm. I think we should just defog this whole borough. It'll be easier. Alright, let's go this way. What was the name of it? The Slaughterhouse Siblings. What? <laughs> I thought I was tripping at the first one I saw Slaughterhouse. Alright, he's turning around. Look, Pat, I need, I need your carriage, so thank you. Uh. We almost have the, uh, if you ever get into an animus, your brain would be broke. You would start seeing here. Oh, you're talking about the bleeding effect? We don't know if that's real or not. That may be real, though. Yeah, I mean, that's the bleeding effect. Even Layla experiences it. But you can avoid major si the really major side effects of the bleeding effect if, if you only are in the animus for a certain amount of time. And people are watching over you. Uh, because my parents will relate to the asset, I want to know more than my interests. Gotcha. I'm thinking of making a video on a new AC film. I already have the script of it for it, but I'm still working on it. Nice. Well, let us know how it goes. Uh, once in AC3, Desmond said he dreamed that he was on a beach in the Caribbean with other pirates because Edward was the ancestor as well. Yeah. Um, I believe that he said that. I don't know if that was one of the recordings in, in Unity or Black Flag. Here now. But yeah. Come on, come on. Hey, that's the effect. Like he was having the bleeding effect, but it wasn't as bad. Like, if, if you want a bad case of the bleeding effect, you, all you gotta do is look at Daniel Cross. Remember how it interfered when he and Desmond were fighting? Like the bleeding effect really messed him up because they just put him in there for for days. They didn't even take him out. Make the target killer, brother. Oh, wow. Okay, so I got a poisoner like that. Is this the sister? Yeah, that's the sister. Chale. Man. Big P. Okay, so I got a poisoner. Another brew. 
And two for Charlie. You're too kind, you ugly bastard. Oh, I was about to throw a knife on that guy. Today was staggering, dear sister. I'm at my best when they struggle. I know exactly how to poison her. Come on, guard. I'm just making sure there's nobody here. Yeah, that is Charlie. Get him! All right, <laughs> look, I made her go crazy. Get him! Get him, Charlie! Oh, she did it! She destroyed her brother. Get wrecked. She wrecked her own brother. Damn. All right, well, she's, she's probably about, yep, she's dead. All right, that was kind of satisfying and bad. <laughs> um, Assassin's Creed 3 is a, a liberty or prototype for Black Flag. It was, it was a reckoning and it was a recording in Black Flag. Okay, yeah, because I remember I heard it in one of them. The bleeding effect gives you a lot of power. Do why wouldn't you collect the abilities of your assassin collector uh, ancestors? Yes. Big Pete, the most original name ever. <laughs> right. Because you would always hear them whispering, seeing them for seconds, but so often you would go crazy. Yeah, but that's only if you're overexposed. Like Desmond, he he was exposed to the bleeding effect, but it wasn't as to the degree of Daniel Cross. Like you remember Daniel Cross when in Assassin's Creed 3 when he started speaking Russian because of his ancestor. Like he 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 started going off and that's how Desmond killed him. It's not because like like Daniel Cross had more skills than Desmond, but he couldn't control the bleeding effect. Hmm. All right, let's free up this one with the child liberation and then I'll search this whole district. I ran with skill point. How many skills do I have? Only one. I feel like my ancestor is gonna be like in the 1700s and like the 1400s Spain. It's just a guess. Same. I feel like I have, for sure. I know I probably most likely have Spanish, Portuguese in my blood, as well as uh, Native American through my father. But other than that, I don't know what other bloodlines I might have within my DNA. You might be. You might be surprised. Who your ancestors are or were and I died. Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh Wow, that carriage saved me guys. You guys saw it first that carriage That carriage saved me. I should have been dead. I was I was expecting to die <laughs> That carriage just happened to be at the right place at the right time Sorry, I don't think you need this sir. I need this I was expecting to die now uh, your grandsons will sink your gaming memories. <laughs> this one was just enough affected by the bleeding effect so he would get Ezio's ability but still be sane so if you don't be set. It was a carriage. Oh god. <laughs> As Caster fought he liked once when Lucy pulled him out and asking if he was okay he shouted I need to go back put me back inside now. Yeah but they need to stop. I didn't know Dying Lion Syndicate had similar things. We I haven't played Dying Light, but I've seen the memes where you literally could fall from anywhere and just land on a zombie and be fine. Which is crazy. I do want to play the Dying Light games one day. I just don't know when. Alright, 
Oh god, I was about to shoot it. Boy, that would have been a big mistake. Uh, they know, they know something happened. They won't find me if I just go around. Got him. Straight headshot too. Alright, the alarm is sabotaged, so they can't even do anything. Dude, I just yeeted her right off. Oh, I guess that was it. Oh, okay, now there's more kids up there. Might as well get this chest while I'm here. Um, I feel like I want to know my ancestor. I'll, I'll go to sleep and then be back. No problem. Have a good night's sleep, Raz, just in case I don't see you. <laughs> I feel like I want to know my answer so bad because I feel like I'm going to have, like, some Italian are definitely going to have Spanish or other races. I wish you could let the hood stay up. It would be cooler. I mean, I technically can. I could just leave it on sneak mode. It's just... I'll be slow. <laughs> As the foreman. Look, guys, she fell. And In what intruder? What are you talking about? He saw me, but he fell. Mm. What will you do if your ancestor would be drunk, fat boha? Sometimes it's better not to know. I mean, I would be curious to know like my bloodlines, wouldn't you? I mean, not all your ancestors are gonna be good, obviously. Even Jesus had some ancestors that were pure evil. There we go, got them both. Are right, you free now, kids? You won't be doing this much longer. You're welcome. What if your aunt, what if one of your answers relate to like a historical person? Yeah, you don't know. Like you, you literally could find lost bloodline connections if we had an animus. Like you might find out that thanks to your bloodline, you actually might be the next one in line for to be the king of England. <laughs> That's just an example, but like, you have no idea who or what is in your in your family history. Not all of it's gonna be good, of course, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some good examples somewhere. Pretty sure we'll leave this part. Let's just explore this part.
I will. Uh, if you can control your ancestor and make your own history, well, you wouldn't be able to do that technically, because that would mean that you would risk, you would jeopardize your own existence. So the only way to do, the only way would be to just replay their memories, just like in Assassin's Creed. <clears throat> You might be replaying what they did. I make sure we make it up here. So far, so good. Mm, let me just defog the whole map because I want to get all those carriages too. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and defog the whole map. I earned a skill point. What is that? Two now? Okay, two more, and then I can get an, uh, the knife upgrade that I want. Let's go, W. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could zip line from here, <clears throat> but I could. All right, we got another Templar hunt. Let's see what they want me to do this time. I uh, dropped the target body in a nearby grave. Okay. Drop his body in a nearby grave. Oh, that guy just zooms into what he's doing. Right, let's get that chest and then I might just zip line him. He's dead. They're dead. Stop her! Shut it! Let's go! Is it? We got his body. Just want me to put him here. Oh, did the did Dundalk count? Oh, okay, hey, counter. I just had to move him. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, the, this is what London looked like in the 1800s. Why didn't uh, they give us a full game in the modern day? I'm gonna see how that's gonna turn out. I mean, if you played Watch Dogs Legion, that's basically Assassin's Creed modern day. They, they gave you an assassin to control. That's as close as modern day Assassin's Creed you'll get. But this is the closest one we got officially. In. Uh, 
Alright, sweet. We got everything here. Oh, look. There's a synchronization. The helix glitch all the way up there. Alright. Uh, what's the next mission we got here? Associate Activities, Robert Topping. I'll talk to him right now. Let me just free the rest of the burrow. Our right, World of War and World War II Assassin's Creed games were pretty interesting. Interesting how Assassin's started using guns and everything. You actually get to play in this game. Um, Jacob's granddaughter is, you get to play through Jacob's granddaughter's memories, so I believe it's World War One or World War Two. I think it's World War One. But I would love to see a, a full game in sand during the World Wars. All right, eliminate all the bladders, kill the bladder and detect it, and burn the bladder heist plants. All right, there's the leader. All right, the plants have got to be in here somewhere. Right in the house, right there. Um, World War One and World War Two says interesting how Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I read that one. Ah. Uh. Actually, it looks like the plans are in this house. How do I get in there? Oh, hold on. No, go back, go back, Evie. Dude, the way I'm asking that's gonna play out a first mission is gonna be assassins start using a machine gun pinning down large rain in their base or something. It's a possibility, or it might just be. I don't know. Because they gave us a bit of uh, of Assassin's Creed uh, lore of, of World War Two, especially during Assassin's Creed Two during the puzzles. Like uh, FDR is actually a Templar, and so is uh, uh, Churchill and. and and Stalin, like they're all Templars, controlling the war. If you remember that from Assassin's Creed um, um two, when you're doing the puzzles, you actually find out that they're, they're they're those guys are Templars and they're the main ones controlling the war. And they're not gonna know. Get him! Damn it. I'm gonna hide in here. Got him. 
Oh, we got a Master Assassin Quarry. Let's go, W. Uh, on his, I'm guessing, like, the guessing, like, the Templars are gonna be on the Germans and the Allies and Germans will rule for one. I don't know. Because in Assassin's Creed 2, they, they gave us lore that the three top leaders of, of the United States, um... The United States, England, and Russia are all Templars. But it might start off differently. I don't know. I don't know how they would do it. Because they would still have to consult lore. I don't have time to deal with street rats. String them up. Oh, you want to string me up, lady? Over here, lady. I hate it when fucking enemies do this. Hurry, hurry. Trying to get closer. Ah, she escaped. God damn it. I was trying to catch up to her, but they tackled me. Oh, I'm kind of salty on that one. Oh well. Oh well, I was trying to catch up to them. Bloody Nora, not Nova. <laughs> I was trying to catch up to her, but that guy just randomly tackled. I would have gotten her. Oh well. Guess we'll fight her in the game fight. Alright, we got two alarms here. We got. One literally right next to that guy. Killed that guy right away. Oh wow. Hurry, hurry, he's coming. Right, so we might kill that guy right away. Oh my god, he almost turned around. I don't know. What is that here, sir? I'm glad the foreman. This guy's asleep. Too late. By the time you saw me, it's too late. Got her too. Alright, let me free the kiddos up here. Ah, the knife got blocked. Get out of the way, kids. Get closer. Got her! Headshot. That is, is there nobody else inside? There's two Templars right there. 
Well, best way to eliminate them is just by poisoning one of them. Get him! He got him for me. He's gonna fight the cops. Oof, get him. Get one of them, at least. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, close enough. Can't complain too badly. You got one of them. And just as a precaution, even though I don't need it, sabotage just in case, because I don't want no BS. You're welcome. Woo. Save those kids. Cool, we got another schematic. Oh, it's still one more place? Oh, of course, we got one more bounty hunt. Large jar pouch. All right, can I craft any of these? Let's see. Um. Yeah, I can craft this one. So I can have more poison. All right, let's see. Did I gain anything here? Midnight blue. That should kind of look cool. Outfits. No, we're good. Or I've seen all these. Capes. Alright, weapons. Uh, Master Assassins, which I have. For free, but I have to be level 8, which I'm not. Sag. All right, so let's do this one last mission to free the whole burrow. Or we can talk to that guy too, the guy with the T, and then do that mission. Cause I don't know what his activities are. I'm just curious, is there a cellar here nearby? There's one all the way next to that guy, so... Because yeah, I need to refill on my supplies. Dude, I can't even see how bright that was. Me? I right, wish not being born. What was that, sir? You were saying something about not being born, but I, I couldn't hear you over your death. Hold on. Give me a refill, sir. Alright, I got five poisons now. Let's go. Hold on, let me get this chest while I'm here. Oh, this guy. Yeah, we remember this guy. Yeah, we saved him in the first mission with Eevee. I was like, who is this guy? Let's talk to him. No, it wasn't me. Not guilty. Beg your pardon. <laughs> right. You, you're the one. I assure you we've never met. Right. Is this a prize fighting ring? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. 
The name is Robert Toppin. Best bookie in all of London at your disposal. Best book, well, yeah. Second best, but my mum says Dom's a bit of a nincompoop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array. Oh, this is where we do the fighting in arenas. All right. I'll... Prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. I remember these. These are actually fun. <clears throat> Why did the Templars pass like generations? Why did they uh, um? A lot of people join the Templars and Assassin's Creed and a pass for like generations. Yeah, some just stay in the family. Alright, I'll do these later once I free the burrow. Alright, so we unlocked the fighting thing. Fighting. We can do fights now. And races? Okay. We can do races too. Good to know. Alright, so they gave us more activities. Alright, let's go. What the Templars believe in? Uh, they believe in, in, in peace through control. That was their main goal always. Don't let those crooks get the better of you. My rates are right fair. Shouldn't be there, but I am. Uh, I was trying to Google the Templars for real, and the, no, the Templar organization was real. Like Assassin's Creed does have a, a bit of real history in real life. Harvey, we got him. I don't even got crap. Your mom. Oi! Get your hands off me! Who are you? You ain't some Bobby, right? Hush now, no need for a fuss. I'm not so I what? Said quiet. There's nothing illegal about what I'm doing. Why are you wanted by every Bobby division in the city? Right. Oh, it's Bobby means cop. For using my services unwisely. Your services have landed more people in the poorhouse than not. They died off in real life, as far as we know. But now, as they say, history is not always accurate. But yeah, they were broken off. Oh my god, can I move? Look, nobody's gonna hear you, pal. Come on. There we go. Whatever happened to the assassins in the Middle East, the first ones? The Hajjin I don't know. No one, no one really knows what happened to them. I think they just got either killed or moved on. No one really knows. I 
Alright, we got our gang war. Ah, uh, I was gonna say, is there a fast travel system? There was. There is. Alright, so we unlocked a lot of bunch of new activities that I need to do. Like the castle in Masyaf is real. Like Masyaf itself is actually real. Come on. Let's go, W. All right, let's do the gang war and take over the, the whole this whole district. But then we'll get all the collectibles and then do all the little side activities in these districts. Come on. I go jump down, Evie. Let's take the control of London back. I'm ready. Hmm. Uh, hello, game. You loading? I think I think it's loading. Okay, I see the cog. We all was like, London's so-called bloody Nora has challenged you to a gang war. All weapons permitted. Good luck to both sides. All right. It's actually the first time I, I let a gang member escape. Besides, so, besides Kalok. I'm not letting her off with anything. Oh, that's the first time she actually hit me. And the only time she'll ever hit me. That was the only time I she ever hit me. Officially feed the whole borough. And we unlocked a new gun. Let's go. Oh, W. 
How much is the upgrade for the gun? I'll buy it. Mm, we unlocked a bunch of new capes, but nothing really... Alright, can I buy some Gengo crits? Hmm. Notoriety. Ah, uh, reduce the initial health. Rook enforcers. Rook carriages. Training rooks, I feel, is more important. And it's volley fire. Poison the well. Rook enforcers. I guess we could do poison the well. Alright, damn, I went broke. Alright, now we really need to get the collectibles. <laughs> We're broke, broke. Let's go all the way back here, because we collected all the ones over here. Oh, did I just get paid? I don't know, I didn't. Right here. Right here in front of you, sir. Who said we were hiding? Alright, it says there's a chest here. Alright. Okay, it's all the way up there. There we go, got it. Uh, hello game? Oh my- oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> I don't know why she fell. <laughs> she just lost balance and went straight down. Mm. I don't know if someone's cooking burger patties or something, but it smells good. <laughs> it smells really good. Right, let's go. Well, we died. Didn't mean to spawn again so far away. Get all the criminals? What criminals? They're fine. Look guys, I need your carriage, so... I don't think they'll mind if I take it, right? Faster! 
All right, we're here. We got that beer bottle. She can't be up to much good. Sure it can. I thought no one ever questions me climbing up here and they're just like, oh, okay, she's gone. Sweet, we got that illustration. We got money somewhere. All the way up there. I guess we can go straight. So we collect all the illustrations. Oh, I didn't even check. Do we have all the skill points? I uh, figured we may have another one. There we go. Knife Master 3. I can carry twice the knives. Oh, let's go. We reached level 8. Which means I couldn't equip the new, the new weapon. Ah, oh, come on. Oh my god. I almost fell to my death doing that. Uh, weapons. Give me the Master Kurari, whatever it was called, this one. Ooh, look at this. Hey, buddy, you don't mind if we borrow this, right? No? Dude, look at this. We can ring the bell. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like a fire truck. Or well, fire carriage. Dude, that is awesome. We got a fire carriage. Let's go. I, have, I haven't seen one of these. Hold on, there's one guy who thinks he's the top criminal. Dude, you got shot in the back. I, I don't think you would be able to be running right now, but... Got him. Guys, guys, relax. The Wild West. But in England. I hope, I hope my fire engine is not gone. Okay, it's not. <laughs> this is still the coolest thing ever. Alright, we got some illustrations. There's a chest somewhere around here, up there. Oh, I didn't mean to climb all the way up there. I just wanted to climb to the edge, but okay. <laughs> No way did I mean to climb like that. Alright, sweet. Uh, I'm gonna guess that Helix Glitch might be up there. Maybe? Hmm. Possibly. Aha! It is up there. Oh, wow. That's not... I don't think the Helix Glitch is right there. Whoa. All right. Straight down. Should get it. Dude, getting all these collectibles is going to be a pain in the butt. But we got most of them. We got all the other districts. I just need to unlock uh, the strand. What level is this? I have no idea what the level is. Oh, 8, which I'm already at. Westminster, which is level 9. And I need to do all these little side activities too.
All right, excuse me. Oh wait, where's my fire engine? I was about to leave it behind. Look, guys, I don't care. Where's my fire engine? Okay, it's still there. I thought it would disappear. Give me my fire engine. Oh, I can't climb it? Can I drive it still? Okay, I can. I wasn't sure. Alright. Ring it. We can ring the bell. This is so cool. <laughs> An emergency. Get out of the way. There's a chest that needs to be take taken. Slow down. Look, guys. I'm not here for you. I'm here for this chest. I promise. I swear. Hijack the carriage already? Okay, I guess we'll hijack it since I triggered this one. Unintentionally. Fine. Goodbye, fire engine truck. I miss you. Um, what the hell is the carriage? Alright, uh, the carriage is all the way over here. If I can kill him and hijack at the same time, W. No! Not what I meant to do. No! Let me get on. Yeah. Get off. This is my this is my carriage now. Sorry guys. I apologize. That was not the way I wanted it to go, but <laughs> W. Alright, we're being chased. Fantastic. Your one carriage butt off me. Oh, please don't make me shoot your horse. I said, please don't make me shoot your horse. Alright, we did it. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do, but... It's a win nonetheless. Alright, Secrets of London. Can hijack this train too. Okay, I can't believe that worked, but it did. Alright, detach the train. So I can hijack it more easier without having to worry about going too far. That's one. Who, me? Said I was. Yeah, come check it out, pal. Uh, okay, I think I'm too far. I guess they'll never know. Huh. 
All right, we got them all. Easiest train robbery ever. Once I did detach the train, it's not that hard. No. All right, let's get out of here. Well, we robbed the train. Easy. All right, how many skills do I have now? Two? All right, two more. Here we go. All right, I need to steal a carriage to get over there. You guys don't mind if I borrow yours, right? Nah, all right, cool. Dude, I'm so violent driving in this game. So violent. Oh God, nope. Oh God, nope. Oh my God, we're drifting. Can we just make it safely? Oh my god. <laughs> Relax, Evie, we'll get there. Alright, good luck, guy. I kind of no one took this music box just sitting here. It's literally just sitting there and everyone's like, eh, it's whatever. Alright, we got a chest and then we got all these materials over here. Alright, move it or lose it, guys. Move it or lose it. What the? How am I supposed to get in here? There's a window right here. Oh, okay. There's a ugly this is right here next to this staircase. Uh Game? Oh what? Oh, I gotta lockpick this. I didn't know apparently that was a thing. <laughs> Boom! Got it. Let's get out of here. Do 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 do. All right, we're good. Drop. All right, Helix Glitch. There's one right here above the tree. All right, that's pretty easy to get, I think. At least I hope. Just a press flower book here. And then I'm guessing the chest is up there. Sure is. Alright. I guess we'll go. I guess we'll probably go towards the beer bottle and then make our way down here and then back up here. I just really like the way the game looks. Like, I really like the daytime. 
There's something about it's kind of peaceful. At least from up here. Down there is probably a different story. Whoa! We did not die. Wait, what? I think it must be the entrance must be on the other side. Excuse me, guys. Look, I don't care. Alright. There's a helix glitch right there. Oh, my God. Oh, I somehow still got it. I was like, the gap's so wide, I, I, I'd miss. We almost got all the helix glitches. The one thing I'm glad is that we're almost done getting all the burrows free. There's only like two more, I think. Oh my god, nope. Right, as long as we didn't fall. see uh yeah we have the strand and westminster and that's it <clears throat> we've unlocked everything else i just got a bunch of side activities to do too oh no oh no Woo! oh my god i thought we, <laughs> we were dead we're not. We're not dead. Let's go over here. Man, this zip lining really does help. Excuse me, gentlemen. Ladies. Alright, sweet. There we go. Got a chest down there. Dude, this is so easy just to zip line. I feel like Spider Man. <laughs> I'm just zipping across. Or Batman. There's a helix glitch down there once I. Go up here. Iron on skill point. Let's go. Okay, I have three. I just need one more to get another upgrade. Am I collecting stuff first before doing the main story? Yeah, that's what I like to do. Like I advance through the main story as much as I can. And then I, I like doing all the collectibles, so by the time I get back to the main story and, and do all the side missions and stuff, pretty much pretty OP. <laughs> I've always done it that way with the AC games. I do, I might do like side missions if, if they're if they're in the region or, or main missions if they're in the region. But I like unlocking the map and everything first. Could just fast travel over there, but it takes too long. Dude, I like zip lining. 
I was gonna steal that carriage, but I felt bad. But I won't feel bad about this one. Come on. Oh, you turn. Easy go. Woo! Oh, oh, were we successful? Just barely. <laughs> so we did a U turn. Oh my god. Drift, drift, drift. You can literally hear the traction going out of whack. What do you think about AC Valhalla? I haven't played it yet. That's why I'm playing through the whole franchise. I've played all of the games except um, except Valhalla. That's why I'm playing through the whole franchise is to play this game. Right, you want to shoot me, lady? Shoot me on the ground, huh? Get the hell off me. But guys, I apologize, but. Well, that just happened. You guys can't shoot me if I'm all the way up here. Ball is kind of good. I've heard mixed reviews. Some people really like it and some people really, really hate it. I'll see how I like it, though. I'm pretty sure I will. Alright, sweet. Alright. Going straight down. Hmm. Alright, from here we'll go up here. And then all the way around and then straight down. We're almost done getting most of the collectibles here. It's a good game, but not a good AC game. Yeah, I mean, I I'll see how it is for myself, but I mean, since it's, R since it's part of the RPG saga, I guess. We'll find out. I mean, I enjoyed Odyssey, even though it's technically not an Assassin's Creed game. Technically. Well, it's not technically a, a AC game until they connect the first Blade DLC. But I enjoyed it for what it was. So I don't think I should have a problem enjoying Valhalla. Plus, Valhalla will be the first game we'll actually be streaming with the PS5. So, that's both exciting, too. Oh my god, I thought I was going to tap that. It's like Witcher 3, but an AC game. I mean, I haven't played the Witcher games. I have them. I haven't played them yet. But I have seen plenty of Witcher 3 gameplay. So, I know what you mean. <laughs> but overall, the game's good. Well, at least that's good to hear. I know a lot of people are liking the, the Ragnarok DLC. I haven't really seen much because I don't want to be spoiled. That just reminded me of like God of War. <laughs> no! Bruh. That's what I wanted to do, but no game. Come on, let me down. I could have just swinged up here, but it's probably going to take me all the way up. Ah, oh, we did that. 
I guess we get this helix glitch chest and then make our way straight down here. Alright. Should be able to buy more gang upgrades. Let's see. Enhance Voli. Train Rooks to level 9. Guess we'll invest in that. And make the Rooks ultimate level. Oh, it's 16,000. Rook carriage. I guess we'll have the Rook Enforcer. Dual blades. Nothing but faulty weapons. Dull blades. Oh, I thought I thought I said dual. <laughs> I was like, what? Dull blades. Bad powder. I'm pretty sure that's all the upgrades we get for now. Oh my god. I uh, should be able to swing across easily. Alright, let's look at some top of their head. There's a chest here. What is that? Here, cargo hijack? Nah, we're good. We do know the side activities probably later or something. There's so much to do. I just want to finish on getting the whole map defogged if I can. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was all the way down here. I don't know who they're shooting at, but it doesn't concern me. Oh, really? It didn't zip all the way up? <laughs> thought it would zip all the way up. Whoa, what was that? I floated for a bit. Hallucinogenic dart too. Ooh. Hold on, can I craft that? Where where can I craft this? Upgrades. Let's go. Ah, oh, but it costs four thousand. I have the money. The one time I can get it and I don't have the freaking cash. Well worry about that once I get there. I guess I could just go straight down here. The zip thing is a good... Uh, I don't know why some people hate it. I don't mind it. Like, I really like if they give you tools to, to make climbing easier. Like in Revelations, they gave us the hook blade. Which made climbing buildings so much easier. I don't mind having a zip line. I know why it might not be in the other AC games. But it makes sense at least for this one. Like, if there's anything to help make climbing feel less painful, I'm all for it. Uh. Oh god, nope. Oh my god, I thought we were dead. It's helpful since Sidica has, like, a wider shirt. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, this game is way bigger than... Unity, like the streets are super wide. A like, Unity was closed in, so it made sense why there was no such thing. But this game it makes perfect sense. I am trying to save myself time and money. I have to do the cargo hijack. I just might have to. Yep. 
Figured it was gonna trigger it. All right. Take care of the sniper. Well, as long as they don't see me, it's fine. They never notice me. Why well, can't no one questions when the carriage is gone? You think something so valuable would, would garner their attention? I right, one thing I love about Unity is the parkour animation. No, I agree. Uh, Unity has probably one of the best parkour, well, probably the best parkour in all of Assassin's Creed. Like, I like the way you could do flips and stuff. I thought that was really cool. Like, if they had kept the parkour system, I think it would have... It would have been perfected every time. Would have gotten better over time. Alright, well. Guess we'll go all the way over here. Do I have enough skills to upgrade again? I do. Um, driver two carriages you drive accelerate faster. Oh yeah, that's definitely a, a plus. Hands down. All right, this is gonna cost me six. That's for Jacob. Also for Jacob. All right, so four for that one. Hmm. Might as well get that carriage right there. Sir, hold on. Pull over. Here now. That's it. Massacre. Not that violent. We want to see how fast this is now. Supposedly, it's faster. That still feels the same, but it does feel a tiny bit faster. Right. Let's see if they have an entrance through the roof. Alright, but I gotta go see you. Take care and good luck streaming. Not problem. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Enjoy Easter or Monday, depending on where you are. <laughs> and have a great rest of your day. Hmm. There's got to be an entrance right here. I figured. Oh my god. Well, I gotta be smart about this. Okay, cause zip line down? Alright, that's a W. Alright, what we get? I right, got all the locked chests in the area. Yeah, a chest and a train robbery right there. I think I don't think this one's inside the building. Yeah, I think it might be inside the building. How do I get down there? Is a real question though. <laughs> what? You guys heard her? She's like, 
Wow. Alrighty then. Hostile takeover it is. Oh, hold on. There's a side entrance here I could take. There we go. Wow, that lady had a mouth on her. Alright, we got everything in the train station. Alright, so we unlocked all the chests for now. I don't know, maybe I could zipline past this. Dude, we've gotten everything so good so far. I could zipline right there across, that'd be great. Oh, I can! Sweet. W. There's a chest here. We're going straight down. Oh my god. Move it or lose it. Wait, did it try to make me zipline all the way down? Oh my god, it was on top of the house? A what? Oh, okay, it was in here. Thank you. Oh my god. Well... Uh, hello? Where do we go? I don't know if this one's above or below. Okay, it's above. I hope we almost have all of these so I can unlock what's in the vaults. Come on. Three out of five, there's two more still. I thought we were gonna get hit by the roof. No, 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 do not jump down. Jump down here, that's fine. Come on. Oh my god. We're live. We're live! Oh, this is the one where I was in that one mission to kidnap that one Templar and I couldn't get this chest because it was either let him go or knock him out. But luckily we came back for it. Dude, I just love ziplining so much. This one I'm gonna straight up run across, because we should be fine. I wanna do the fight clubs already. I really like doing those too. Alright, come on.
sweet. Got that. Let's get down. Getting down to business. There's a helix glitch all the way down there. Alright, sweet. There's also a chest down here? Oh, there is. Alright. Gotta be sure. Seems like we got everything on this area so far. We're almost done. We just got this whole sector left. And we're done with this burrow. At least collectibles wise. Side activity is a whole different matter. Might do this a side activity a bit later maybe. Oh, I don't know. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try them out. I'm gonna have to go back to do the ones I missed. Whoa. Well, at least we're not dead. There's a chest all the way up there. No, not what I want to do, but okay. Alright, looks like this one's on the ground. Oh, wow, I got lucky. There's <laughs> there a way to dive down super fast. Inconvenient. Alright. Oh, hold on. I just want to know how much what did I unlock recently? We unlocked a new weapon. I said there was a new assassin gauntlet. Yeah, this one I can craft. Um, I was gonna craft the hallucinogenic dart upgrade. Sweet says it affects level 10 targets. Alright, so it affects the maximum level allowable. See where this helix glitch is. Aha! Gotta die straight down. The hell? Okay, it was my neighbor's pep. Passing by, I was like, what the hell is that sound? What do you guys got, boys? Thank you. I'll take it. All right, streets of London. Right, we almost got all of the illustrations. I really love the zipline. Highly underappreciated. <laughs> cool. 
Well, at least from the fans, not me. Move or lose, guys. All right, we gotta go all the way over here. Dude. No. All right, let's say I gotta do a leap of faith onto this one. There we go, and then we got a chest right here. Sweet dude. Right, this is why it's important to loot because you actually get a bunch of good upgrades in this game. I didn't know about the schematics thing either. There we go. Alright, so far so good. Dude, I didn't think the city of London was this big. I usually would have already been done exploring in the other boroughs. Whoa! where the vault is but I'm not going down there because I don't have all the pieces yet but get out of the way guys I'm just getting these beer bottles relax dude they act like I committed the crime of the century or something Secrets of London's literally up here. Alright, well, we got another one. There's only one more in this district. Alright, W that I could zipline all the way up here. Straight down here. Alright, the chest is all the way over here. Dude, we're almost done. Come on. We only got a few more, Eevee. Sweet. 
This one on the top? I think it's right here. Yep, there it is. Alright, so far so good. Dude, we're trying to get there, and it's hard. Man. Dude, I'm trying to get here as fast as I can. Come on, game. in here. There's only four more chests left in the city. Got all the illustrations, and I'm guessing this one's on top. on top thought it would be no it's actually down no like way down I don't even see it with my uh, eagle vision all right so there's got to be some sort of secret tunnel somewhere Got to be some sort of. Someone, someone I don't think that belongs to you, does it? Come on. It's always the way down. Unless it's literally in the vaults. Oh wait, I didn't even think about this. Hey, what's up, Chris? I'm doing well. We're just playing some more Syndicate, trying to advance through this game. We're not beating this today, for sure. Definitely advance as much as we can. I didn't even think about this. Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? Nope. I'm the foggiest. <laughs> he was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Which we've been unlocking. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? Okay, that's how we unlock it. I had to come down here anyways. We're inserting all the ones that we have currently.
I got some Dragon Ball Z socks today. Nice. Uh, what kind of image or what is it? I'm not trying to skip the cinematic. I just want to see what it unlocks. Alright, it's almost open. <clears throat> Got them from Walmart. Nice. It's all of them for now that I have. Ah, uh, there's there's a helix list treasure and all that stuff over here. You have socks like stuff you're a fan of? Nope. I just have regular socks. Alright, my train safe is full. Come on. No! Why? Why would you do this? Just go straight down. I don't know why she would do something like that. Oh, it's in a tree. So, see, that makes sense. I've got all the helix glitches here. Got the pressed flowers. Three more chests. Now, I'll get the last one by the cargo later. I got some Batman socks from last uh, last month from Walmart. Nice. All right, we gotta go. Sweet. All right, we got all the beer bottles. Chess here. All, right. All the way up. Okay, I was I was worried that the icon for the vault wouldn't appear. It does. Uh, you should get uh, our boy Batman, you know, socks and DBZ. Uh, it's not my style, per se. I just enjoy my socks being regular. <laughs> Never really been into like special, special designer socks or anything like that.
Do, 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 do. Oh, God. We go press flowers are cleared. I go back to that chest, and then we'll go back to the other chest. Thank you, sir. Good day. How much money do I have? Can I buy any more gang upgrades? Let's see. Rook carriage. All right. Training rooks. That's like 16,000. Bad powder. Hmm. Pretty sure I get both, maybe. Cavalry call. I can summon carriages? Okay, that's definitely going to be a, my next upgrade. Bad powder, bad powder too. Alright, so we gotta get everything. I'm good, sir. Now, let's say this one's on above. Oh my god. I thought we were gonna fall to our deaths again. <laughs> Alright, last chest is over here by this cargo carriage. It's the reason I want to save it, because once I go down there, I can't get out of triggering that. down what are you doing got him Let me get down there. No! Don't pick up the body! Let's open the chest, not, not get his body. That's all the chests in this area. Alright, let's get out of here. There we go. Oh. Now we got everything, uh, side activity wise. I mean, yeah, all the collectibles at least. Alright, we got some side missions, but I want to get all the cargo hijacks that I can do. Or was that the only one? Huh, I think that was the only one left. Alright, apparently we got like three dreadful crimes here. Or only one that I can see. There's also a race.
And we could do a fight club. Alright, let's do this one. The dreadful crimes and then we'll leave. We'll eventually come back for the rest. <laughs> I don't want to stay here longer than I have to. So we got all that. Come on. Load me in. Alright, let's do the dreadful crimes and then we're gonna push over to the strand. Wait, yeah, I was trying to I was trying to find a where can we go? Alright, refill. Right, let's do the dreadful crimes. Alright, sir, I'm about to borrow your carriage. Get out of the way. Sorry about that. So curious, how much skills do I have? Just one. No! That's not what I meant to do. Ah, for a moment. Can I get that upgrade to call a carriage anytime I want? No. Not yet. Alright, we're almost there. We almost ran over Artie. Case of the Conflicted Courtship, alright? A tragedy in the park. Another chance to sort out a diabolical conundrum. Okay. One that I'll turn into a one a penny read for Perlock Publishing. All right, let's see what this crime is. All right, here we go. All right, that's her. I should return and find out about this. Right, hold on. I should return and find out about this. That's two, but there's got to be something else on this. All right, so clearly she was stabbed, and then she dragged herself over here before losing blood. I did a little bit of forensic science. Yeah. All right. Five clues here. The rest of it must be upstairs. It's 
Two clues. There's another one right there. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. All right. I know there's a bigger upstairs, but there is. All right. Last clue in this area. I should return and find out about this. Let's meet up everyone. Oh my god, Prudence! How horrible! I was about to propose. But I don't understand. She and I didn't have a meeting arranged today. What do you mean? It is true that we sometimes meet in the park, but there was no arrangement for this morning. Okay. That's very odd indeed. Prudence was a patient here, but wasn't given this prescription. There's no reason that she should be carrying such a packet. You appreciate, I'm sure, that I cannot discuss the condition of any of my patients. Okay. It's one suspect. I don't know any of Dr. Alton's other patients. Okay. I'm quite angry, actually. I was having such terrific results. I felt like a new man. Much more vigorous and outgoing. Okay. The doctor has ended the prescription altogether for no reason. I'm sorry to hear about her murder. She was a patient here, but increasingly began to stop by socially. Okay. Mr. Baxter apparently attacked the doctor yesterday. It was after hours, but the doctor did have a cut on his cheek. Poor man. Okay. Dr. Alton makes house calls to see him. Baxter doesn't come into the office. I make up the prescriptions and he picks them up at noon when I'm away at lunch. So she was meeting Dr. Alton in the park, was she? My understanding was that she was engaged to someone. In any case, the good doctor could do better in my opinion. Okay. Perhaps now he will. Sounds like you're jealous, but alright. Doesn't fit the crime yet. Alright, Gilbert's house is the next one. Let's say I'll live close by. Who's found one out of one? Alright. and I are engaged to be married. Okay. I'm desperate to see her. She should be by any moment. She had something important to tell me. I'm worried she's going to break off the engagement. Okay. Prudence has been so distant lately. I believe she has a misplaced affection for her doctor, the cat. I would make a much more appropriate husband and the wedding is planned. Uh-huh. Nah, he doesn't really know. He doesn't know if she's dead. Let's go to Prudence's house because I don't think we've investigated that place. Oh my god, did the horses do damage to me? Bruh. Two clues only. Uh, 
Okay. This works all the way down. Oh, I'm down here. I saw her kissing my man in the park, didn't I? Who? I followed her to the street yesterday, but lost her. I'll come every day if need be until I catch her again. That trollop better promise to let him alone, or I'll give her what for. He's all mine, I tell you. All the girls want a bit of Baxter, but they can't have him. You ask him yourself. He lives just that way. Okay. I guess we'll go to Baxter's house. I think it might be Baxter that did it. At least so far everything's pointing to him. He's left. He left the bag. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. One of the knives is missing. Yeah, it's definitely Baxter. All right, let's get out of here. Go back to Baxter. It's back here. It's the evidence pointing that it's him. <sighs> that medicine was developed by Dr. Alton specifically for one of our patients, Mr. Shelby, but he's been using it for another patient as well. Are this Baxter? Hold on. I'm gonna question the good doctor. Unfortunate incident. One of my patients became overexcited. Eh? Okay. Alright, let's review everything. Alright, so a young woman with identifying papers stabbed many times in a highly violent manner. Wounds indicate a left handed attacker. Powdered medication stamped Dr. Trevor Alton. 10 a.m. Standard kitchen knife. Doctor, I hope that our professional relationship does not procure a closer rapport. Dear Miss Knight, I would ask you to please suspend Mr. Shelby's prescription. The nose well and medical interest in the office. Okay. It's definitely Mr. Shelby. That's all I needed to see. I just needed to confirm. I don't know any of Dr. Alton's other patients. I ask you don't. I may have some problems, but brutally murdering people isn't one of them. What? Okay. That was him. Ok, 
Japan. Okay. That was Baxter. Alright, so it's it's a male that did it. He can either be the good doctor or the guy. Let me see what I had to use this. Oh god, it's true. I couldn't help myself. The power uh -huh. unleashed a creature within me. He seduced the innocent prudence and then killed her to prevent us from marrying. It's too, too horrible. Oh, this is a doctor? Oh, Alright. I knew something was amiss with the medical powder, but didn't understand until you found those papers. Well done. Alright, so. Up to the clink with you. Doctor was getting high off his own supplies. We did all that mess. All right, we unlocked another mystery, and we unlocked another mystery over here. Let's go. The mystery of twice dead professor. What? What do you mean twice dead? All right, let's do this other side mission we just unlocked. The fact that it says twice dead professor makes zero sense. So unless unless they pronounce him dead. Unless he died twice? I don't know. Find out what that means. Alright. <clears throat> We're going up here. We could do the other murder mystery up here too. I don't know if we unlocked anything else. Not for now. Dude, I can have 30 knives now? W. You're welcome. How much money? Can I buy another gang upgrade? Calvary call. Bad powder two. Let's do calvary call because I, I always need a carriage. There we go, I want to try it. <clears throat> if you kill someone, it better not be me. Thank you. Oh, right, thank you for the cart. I just have to summon a cart now. 
Whenever I want, so I don't have to steal one. All right, come on. We damage this car like hell. Right, the mystery of the twice dead professor, huh? Here's an especially exciting one. Okay. Perfect for a penny dreadful. A famous professor dies twice. I believe it when I see it, man. Is this him? Yeah, that's him. All right. Two clues. Uh, hello? I should return and find out about this. Looks like a dead spider. about this we haven't asked about anything yet I should return and find out about this I right, got most of the clues last letter was somewhere down there all right Unthinkable. Such a great man. We were still in mourning from the burial. He was buried yesterday in the family plot. What? My father was an eminent anthropologist and something of an explorer. He made his name by investigating the practices of a small village in the Congo. His colleagues at the university often sent him trinkets from abroad. Okay. This is no time to talk about the will. It is true that my father and my fiance didn't get on. But I'm confident that once he got to know her as a daughter-in-law, they would have... Okay. All I need to know. It's so very awful. The professor died of an art attack just days ago. Then tonight, I hear pounding at the door. I open it to find him bleeding and in pain. I tried to say something and then collapsed dead. Again. <laughs> Again. Spider? Let's get that out of here. Emmett is definitely afraid of spiders. Huh? He kept repeating, Barqueso, Barqueso, over and over. What does it mean? He got that a few days ago. Inside was a statue. I thought it was a marble. But he told me it was quite common. I don't know who sent it. Okay. And we got two new locations. This is the university, apparently. Right, eight clues here. Nothing down here, but up here is plenty. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more. 
any questions. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Hold on, there's something up here. The fact that someone has a picture of a dead spider like that. all the clues the anthropological sciences have lost a great mind he revolutionized the field uh -huh. it is my fond hope that i may inherit his mantle okay. which one is that sorry difficult to read i've lost my spectacles somewhere okay i recently traveled to africa in order to continue studies on the indigenous tribe professor bing discovered some time ago it might be him Eminent colleague. He wrote prolifically. Probably no one will ever amass the amount of knowledge he acquired. Okay. I'm most vexed about that. A rare specimen of the sort I've been studying for years. It escaped a few days ago, no doubt due to that scatterbrained assistant Virginia. Okay. My thesis subject. My South American colleagues tell me that this particular arachnid is only found in the Bolivian Andes. Fascinating subject. Okay. This has got to be Virginia. A lovely man and quite wealthy. I only wish he had lived to bless my alliance with his son. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you know whether that change was actually made? Yeah, it might be her. I hoped you wouldn't find that. I'm afraid several of the faculty purchase cadavers for research purposes. It's a fact of university life. Uh huh. Feel might be her. Congratulations on your coat. Glad that they didn't get along. All right, tells me a lot. The other suspects will say to this. All right. I believe I should re interrogate a suspect. All right, let's do it. He showed up again. First time that's happened in 35 years of grave digging. Right. I saw the sun lock the two myself. Okay. Body snatching? That's an insult. I'd be in the slammer quick as that if I got caught. Right. So I sell a body or two on the side. A man's got a wheat, ain't he? I broke the lock and left him on a barrel just behind his tomb. It was dark, couldn't really see. Right. But some fella come by and cart the old professor off. It's muddy back there. You can likely still see the tracks. It's plain that seven guineas is a lot for a bloke like me. I'm careful with me pennies and save for a rainy day. Okay. Ah, gotta go interrogate everyone again. Placed a similar one, possibly at the funeral. I was so upset. All right, upset. Sure, buddy. It's gotta be her. Let me just interrogate everybody, but it's gotta be her. I 
just got a feeling, but I'm gonna look at all the evidence too. Oh my god, really? Got hit by a freaking carriage out of all the things. Nah, it's gotta be here. I'm gonna go back. Since I'm here, let's look at all the evidence. Alright. A large distinct spider curled up in death. Body shows evidence of having been in a terrible struggle. There's a deep cut to the forehead that appears to be surgical. The cut goes into the skull himself. An open wooden crate shipped from within London. It's clearly marked to be open only by Professor Bing personally. An intricately sculpture evidently of African origin. There's small recess where something could have been hidden. My dear love, I do not understand your father's antipathy towards me. I fear that he will take steps to disrupt our engagement. Please obtain his assurances that no matter what. My dear being, I certainly amend your will to discourage the marriage of your son. Should serve the purpose. The research trip has been a success. Okay, so I'm thinking, sorry, the lock is broken. Lace handkerchief with red embroidery, seven pounds sterling. There is a state resembling death, and that some Indian tribes use the venom during a rite of passage and would initiate boys' experience of symbolic death lasting two or three days. Okay, so the, the spider only simulates death if you're bitten by it. It's gotta be her. Cause it, it's talking about her being misplaced. It's her. Wait. Is there a new place I missed? I went to the cemetery. I also have to question more people here. Not Dr. Wilson. Guess I have to go all the way back then. I've already talked to all of them. And I've looked over all the evidence. Alright then. Thank you, you can go. Come on! Faster! Alright, come on. Come on! Guessing we gotta question them then. I literally reviewed all the evidence, so... Did I miss something? You're not here. I must have missed something. I'm gonna check the cemetery and, the, and then the university. Slowly now. I don't know what uh, what I could be missing.
Unless it's a cemetery, because I've gone back and forth. Hold on. Something here I didn't see before. Alright, hold on. I knew I missed something. Totally whole new place I had investigated. Alright. Investigate all the clues in this area. Let's look at the clues again. Dreadful crimes. Alright, so a wooden carved mask of a jackal. My pile of cold ashes giving off a perfumed door odor. This is a small saw hammer. The saw is bloody. I lost my spectacles. Hold on. Couldn't have been. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, so let me question everyone once again. There's glasses there, and the lady's not wearing glasses. from him okay I don't think it was her then it might have been the assistant There was one dude that said, I lost my spectacles. This guy? The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Which one is that? Sorry, difficult to read. Okay, it's him. I required his knowledge in order to become the greatest anthropologist in the British Empire. And his beloved tribe of savages provided the method. Yeah, that was him. That Professor Silas was particularly cunning and gruesome. Mr. Raymond will be thrilled. Got it. That one was perfect. Once I found the glasses, boom. Any more murder mysteries that I should know of? Okay, not here, at least. One over here. The Fiend of Fleet Street. I don't think there's anything here. One Charles memory. We did the one here. Alright. Let's do this one. And then we shall investigate further.
I'm curious, how many skills do I have now? Three? Oh my god. I don't think you guys would mind if I take this, right? I'm causing so much mayhem and destruction, and I am funny. <laughs> Sorry about the carriage. You should be fine, though. We'll solve this dreadful crime, then we can move on. Ah, this is one that's most promising. An important detective is missing. Skullduggery is surely afoot. Okay. Solve it, and I'll write it up quick as you please. of mine okay the whole station is out looking for him as we speak ironically he came here on an investigation himself okay Seems several people have gone missing in this part of town we've had reports of missing people over the last few months detective murphy is just the most recent and the only one who's anybody to speak of i'm good to know thanks Two clues here. I should return and find out about this. It says there's one more clue somewhere, but I don't know where. Here. when I was on my way to work in this kind of neighborhood people come and go okay an odd man indeed he spent a fair amount of time in here uh, poking around all right some people around town just seem to vanish it is mysterious George delivers that to us it's amazing the flowers just grow and grow Okay. Sweet boy. Constantly giving my assistant gifts, a jacket, a handbag, and so on. Alright, this George fella seems kind of suspicious, but alright. Hold on. George is my sweetheart. I think he plans to propose marriage soon. Okay. Maybe even today. I had a questioner again. Let's sell the icon. All right, there's two clues here. That's unusual. All right. He was in there asking about missing people. What a meat pie he did. Stayed and chatted for a few minutes, then headed off to the barber. Off to the barber's. Wait, is this the barber Seville? Some people have gone missing, but I don't know anything about it. Uh huh. George delivers meat from a pies. Lovely lad. I pay on delivery. I believe he picks it up from a local butcher shop. Oh boy.
Let's ask the butcher right here. You mean the annoying bloke nosing around? I told him to sod off. Of course he did. I pride myself on the quality of the beef I sell. Somebody selling cheap around here, though, my sales have dropped off. Okay. George? I don't know any George. <laughs> Alright, so he's not buying me. I'm gonna, if I had a guess, just from what I'm piecing together, he's killing people and serving them as pies. Just a hunch. It's gotta be up here. That's two clues, and we gotta talk to the suspect down here. He came in asking lots of questions. I believe I answered them to his satisfaction. Oh. Huh? I suppose there are a few people I haven't seen in a while. Why would you want to know about him? Stupid boy. He does deliver tan leather on occasion, but I really have very little to do with him. Okay. There's blood here. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Come, step closer. Have a look at these beautiful things. All right, let's see. Prices in the neighborhood. You want Yeah, I gave him a trim. He asked no end of questions. But I cut his hair. I notice he's a tattoo right at the base of his neck. Okay. A green Celtic cross it was. You're right. Several people have disappeared over the past months. Some of them were customers of mine. I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes my hand shakes when I'm given a shave. Sure. George was in here earlier, getting an haircut. He wanted to look nice for his girl. He's been seeing Joanna from the flower shop for some time now. Okay. Said he's finally saved up enough money to pop a question. Let's follow these footsteps where they lead. Yeah, this is George's house. There's someone dead in this house. I feared it was this George. Just murdered George. I have no idea what to do now. All right, I'm guessing I'm about to go back and interrogate people.
Okay, let me look at the clues. I can accuse everyone now. A crate of meat with no label. The meat smells a little bit odd. Bills paid several from George for meat delivery. It seems Mr. Moflat may pays promptly and gets a good deal from George. Sack of manure for plants. Examination shows that small bits of bone are mixed in it. One appears to be a human knuckle. Made of sort of brushed leather, decorated with diamond-shaped holes. Made of pale leather on the bottom is fading green image. Sharpened barber's razors. Several drops of blood. Collection of sharp knives, strong and thick. Uh, meat delivered to bakery. Man manure to florist, leather to Tobias. A diary indicating that George is becoming increasingly suspicious concerning his deliveries. Now that I have enough set side pros, I've written a detective about the suspicious crime. Okay, so it's not George. George is very recently dead. His chest is punctured with a diamond shaped hole. Diamond shaped hole. Okay, it's the leather guy. It's gotta be. He was coming too close to figuring out where all those people went. Uh huh. <laughs> they got parceled out to the baker, the florist, and me. Watch it. What was him? You very cleverly puzzled that one out. You are not Thank you. A very unpleasant crime. Up Perfect for one of Mr. You. Raymond's penny ah. dreadfuls. Oh. Alright, well, that guy's going to jail. That one took a little while to figure out. I was like, one lie. That one took took me a bit. I was like, hmm, like this doesn't make sense yet. But I bet I could figure it out. And hold and behold, I was right. What's this other clue about that he had a weird shaped neck? It was it was obviously it was the tanner. I'm like, wait a minute. That one wasn't that hard to figure it out. Come on. And break and left and right and back sideways. <laughs> oh, we would have advanced so much. Feels like we really scratched the surface, really. Alrighty. Alright, let's go synchronize this area, get all the collectibles. All the little side activities I'll be doing right after I get all the collectibles and stuff. I'm just curious, have I unlocked any new skills? I have! I wasn't sure. Right, we gotta execute two. That's right, for Jacob. All right, demolition defense. All right, so I got six more to go. Cause up here, let me switch to to Jacob so I can upgrade him too. There you go, nice level eight. All right. 
All right, so these last ones are going to cost me six. Um, there we go. I was checking all these out. And switch to Eevee. We upgraded our brother as best as we could. You're welcome. And there's a carrot here. Let's go. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god, we knocked over a tree? We could do that? Apparently that's a thing. Let's do all this. There we go, synchronize this area. For this area, we got the the bounty hunt and the Templar hunt only. Guess we'll worry about freeing all this. Gear upgrade suggested? Oh, I got that. Gear. I can craft this. Cost me nine thousand though. Oh, you know what? I haven't even fast traveled to the train. Oh, I forgot about the safe. Totally forgot about the safe. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. I keep getting a notification about the safe, and I was like, I was going to go back to it earlier. Totally forgot. I like passed my brain. I wasn't even thinking. At least we synchronized that area, and then now I'll just come, to, come back. Uh, come on game any day now Any day good old chap hmm. Seems a letter has come for Jacob the papers and all simply delightful All right, we did that let me go back and fast travel out here Yeah, I totally forgot about the safe.
Totally forgot. Come on. As far as crafting, I right. should be able to craft this. Can't equip it though. You got this, I just can't wear it. Bring back the target alive. Well, how are they though? This is the target, that guy, Gilbert Fowler. Should be passing by me soon. Spread up. There has to be a weak spot somewhere. Find it. Then I can find everything. All right. Luckily, I have plenty of knives. He has no idea what's happening. What's he talking about? He has no idea what's happening. Spread out. There has to be a weak spot somewhere. Find it. Then we break in and burn everything. If the government won't help people like us to read, then no one should read it all. Yeah. 
Come on, boys. What you think you're doing? I'm busy here. Keep quiet, Mr. Fowler. Hush now. Oh, let me go, will you? Oi. Someone get me out of here. Let's get out of here, boys. We're gonna do what? Finally. Good. Thank you. One less building burn. Ooh, a new gun. We got a new gun. W. I shouldn't be worried about skills because we're gonna need like five more. Welcome back. We're just, uh, we're actually in uh, the strand right now. We're unlocking this district right now. I'm hoping to go to Wisp Minister tonight, but I don't know if we will. We're advancing so much in so little time. Oh, what? Alright. I think I have to die for this one. I can climb up here. That'd be great. Yeah, this is a big burrow. The Westminster one is huge. I don't think we'll get through through to it. But if we do, that'd be great. Oh, I didn't get it? What? That's a load of baloney right there. Oh, that was baloney. Yeah, we were doing some dreadful crimes earlier. I saw all the ones I, I have I had available. There we go. I only wanted to get that one, just because it was there. Actually, I'm about to play Syndicate right now, so I'll be right back, no problem. So far, I've really been enjoying this. 
Alrighty, alright. Oh, wait, there's a chest right here. Oh. Kill the target using explosives. Okay. From now on, everyone will remember Peter Needle. Peter the Strong. Peter Kill the Conqueror. Peter the Great. Peter the hell, shut the hell up. I mean, what? I will be as Achilles was. I will be great and powerful, and I will live on forever in the minds of the weak. And so far, so good. I just I noticed that this man follows a routine, so if there's a way I can sneak up here. He's dead. Do you think waking up at 3 a.m. is bad? Uh, depends. Do you have anything in your sleep schedule going on that's gonna affect you? Like, you gotta go to work, school, or anything like that? If not, I wouldn't say it's bad. Okay, I can name that. Just curious. Name this though? No, it's too far. Alright, next time he rolls around here, boom. Because he passes through here. It really just depends, but. Come on, man. Come on. Alright. Five. Four. Two. One. Got him. I just had to wait the right opportunity. Storm 5 is coming soon, but I don't think so. What do you mean? Wait, you don't think so? You don't think they'll release it or? Or what do you mean by that? Not so soon. All right, let's go, W. Oh, there's a cat right there. All right, we gotta free more of them, so let's let's unlock let's unlock the whole district. If only I could zip line from here. Maybe if I get close. Nah, that's too far. Alright, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, give me a refill. Thank you, my good sir.
Dude, we got a long way to climb up. Very long way. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a nice shot. <sighs> Shooting that guy was hard. I'm surprised I got him. With the explosives. Alright, we unlock this. Um, there's a gang stronghold here. Guess we could do this. Okay, I was curious. I was like, where do I jump? Damn. Oh, God. We're swimming. What all are these swimming? Really? Come on, guys. There is a uh, Naruto Shippuden Ninja Storm 4, and there's a bundle with Baruto characters, and if they do it with only Baruto, it wouldn't make sense. I got you. I don't know, does the game have like a single player, or is it just like a multiplayer game? Just curious. I mean, I've never played it, so I, I wouldn't know. Oh my god, they're level 10? Bruh. Took care of that problem. All right, burn the blighters' heist plans, which is in that building right there. And don't let the lookouts call for reinforcements. The fact that this guy's level 10. Alright, fight amongst yourself, boys. What? What do you do? Why is he running off? Bruh, he just ran off. The enemies were right here. My guy. Alright, I don't know why he ran off. That was so random, he just ran up. He's like, alright, I guess none of this matters. Alright, we got him. I didn't even know there was people in this house. What happened? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. You can't tell me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize I was not sneaking. <laughs> I gotta be careful here. An unusual method of entry for a lady, don't you think? No, not really. Here we go. Here's their plants. Uh, you can play story offline battle or adventure online battle. Oh, is it like co-op or something? I'm guessing it might be the same story, just online or offline. dead. He's climbing up here. Come on, you're already up here. Come on, climb. Ah! 
Idiot. I only need to kill three more of them. Oh wow, I didn't even realize there was a sniper up there. Got her. Headshot. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a sniper up there. There's another chest in here. I'm trying to get them. Ah, oh, it's gonna try to headshot him. Boom. Got him. Uh, no co-op adventure mode, it's just like a story mode? Okay. That sucks. I thought maybe they would have added like a co-op mode to that. There we go. Alright, let's just air assassinate this guy. Got him. Oh wow, it took a big chunk of the city. I'm bounty hunt, Milton King. I didn't expect it to take out that big of a chunk. I did not expect it to take up that much. Dude, that was that was a big chunk. I wasn't expecting it to take up like the majority of all that. I was expecting like one, maybe, maybe like half of that. Or like a whole big area. Alright, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on. Can I jack you? Oh, <laughs> I just threw him off. Like his body just ragdolled. Uh, bring back the target alive. Oh god. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come over here. She saw me and she somehow lost me. She somehow lost me. <laughs> I was right here in front of her. Come on, my lady. He's fine. He's just asleep. All right, Naruto Shinobi Striker has co-op mode. You can buy characters, grind for points, and you can buy uh, Rinnegan, Shinigan, Chidori, and all the... All of that, by the way, you can play missions with your friends. Yeah, let's see. That sounds more... 
That's a more of a Naruto game. Color black. I'm sure if I could throw that, but no. I'm surprised it let me get this close. Alright. Seen the dead body. I don't want to kill him right now. He fell, right, guys? He fell. They all fell. I like how that everyone's over there surrounded by the body. In order to do mission, you need to go for someone. Example, my guy. Gotcha. Oh crap! Come on, come on, go. Oh my god! How? How is this possible? I like how those guards don't even bother trying to chase me. I like how they didn't even try to chase me. They're just like, huh, I guess that guy's just fighting. Can't you see I'm busy? Quiet, Mr. King. Shush. That's funny. Oh now now they wanna they wanna fight. Kidnap the king? I'm trying. Somehow I became anonymous throughout that. Uh, Demon Slayer trailer is out. Swords of the Village arc is coming soon. Thank God. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen Demon Slayer, so I don't know anything. Never read the manga either. Haven't read mangas in years. I know that worked out. That was chaotic. That was really chaotic. Look at all the carts we left behind. That was too chaotic. Alright, 
right, let's go. Alrighty, alright, alright. How many skill points do I have? Four. Okay, I need two more to get. I'm gonna try to get the camouflage upgrade. I think that's gonna be the biggest one. Demolition defense. First strike two. And the combat stamina. Well, the beginning story is basically I don't spoil it to you. You might watch it. I doubt it. I'm not planning on watching anything. Perform a cover kill on one of the targets, okay? Just on one. Oh my god. Okay, there's two targets. Oh, he didn't die from that BS. Oh, that's BS. That didn't even do an air assassination. Oh, that was BS. Major BS right there. It just says perform a cover kill on one of them. Um, what is a res? I didn't know there was a Romanian Johnny Sins. What? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't want him to do that again. Ah, uh, should be easy enough. Come on, buddy. It's one. I'm too far. Murder? Where? Come on, you know you want to get close. You're right, someone did help. Remember yesterday when I said someone uh, killed you in Warzone? His name was Johnny Sins from Romania, and another guy killed me, and his name was Johnny Sins 69. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the Johnny Sins 69. I remember the Johnny Sins from Romania. That was true. <laughs> I was caught. Now we free, free the populace from that threat. I guess next we gotta go synchronize this area. Oh! Okay. I got scared. Sir, I don't think you. Oh, alright.
just want to know how many skills do I have now? Four still. Come on, y'all got to give me one more so I can go up to great to level nine. All right, let's go. I'm so sorry, guys. I have no idea what's happening. I think it was you, Rez, wasn't it? Nah, I doubt it. Look at all the chaos I caused. I caused all that chaos. Alright, here we go. We got Templar Hunt, Bounty Hunt, and some other things. Nah, I wasn't in the game with you. What I'm saying, I don't think it was Raz. He was literally right here. Right, we do the child liberation. That unlocks pretty much everything else I was missing. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, hold on. Just spend because I don't need you right now. You guys would literally give me away. Five, one more skill point should do it. Right, there's two alarm bells in this area. By the time she saw me, that knife was going straight through her forehead. It was an accident, man. Move out of the way. That's right. I think it's time to make a hasty retreat. Oh, damn, I missed. There we go, got him. Come on, kids, get out of there. Uh, I'm freeing you guys. What do you mean? I'm. What am I doing? I haven't played with someone in a bit. Uh, what Warzone, or just games in general?
Okay. Oh god. Come on, pal. This is all working out so far so good. It's an alarm bell right here. They're bribing kids, which is so evil. But I don't know what happened. He fell. Edward having iron lungs um, when shooting the blowpipe from long distances I would sing iron lungs iron lungs he is the one only with iron lungs why played a couple days ago with the streamer he's close to 200k subs and called me cracked <laughs> at my house we have a nuts tree and lots of nuts imagine if I played with you for night arrow picks that might happen soon once I finish the standard speed series I'm gonna take a break I'll be playing multiplayer games like different ones, including BRs. Alright, so I've disabled the alarms. How the hell, bloody hell do I get back up here? Oh, okay, I was like, there's gotta be stairs. I would download Apex, Apex ASAP. I have Apex downloaded on my PS4. I just haven't played it in a long time. I used to play the PC version, but my PC doesn't really handle that one very well. I do have Warzone download, but I don't play it. <laughs> uh, will I play Fortnite and Rage on stream? I don't really rage on stream. I mean, I haven't played Fortnite to the point where I'm gonna rage. I don't know what could it be. Get over here. I right know. I like his Hey guys, he's moonwalking. You're welcome, kid. <clears throat> yeah, 
If you want, we could play Warzone someday. Maybe. I mean, I really don't play. Like, Call Warzone really burned me out of COD. You guys are welcome. I'll be right back. You, call me. you guys are free. Run. Run, little scappers. Oh, wow. I think I was going to free that that much. Is there a, a salesman somewhere? Now there's one. I need to refill on my knives and all my equipment that I've used. Mostly my knives. Uh, nowadays there aren't so many hackers, but maybe some people with a Krona Zen. Nah, trust me, there's hackers all the time on Warzone. <laughs> That's never gonna change. That game is forever tainted by hackers. Oh, wait, 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 there's a merchant here. Boy, what am I doing? You turn. There's a merchant right there. Nice. Might as well steal the cart since I am. I'm already here. I'm a dead woman, huh? What if I do this? Got him! Let's go! All right, call back up. Oh, he fell off. He fell off on his own. That guy literally fell off on his own. That dude fell off on his own, like, boom! I was like, really? And they were like, yeah. Oh god, oh my god. And no choice on delivering the cargo for this one. Oh, sweet. We got skills. Alright, guys. We're gonna get a freaking... What is this? A camouflage? The one where we turn invisible as a chameleon. Look at us. Hey! Alright, let's do... Uh... Guess we could do bounty hunt. Huh? 
All right, so we can literally turn invisible now. Whoa! Not with my intention to do that. Chrono Zen is a device you plug into your controller and it gives you like no recoil and very strong aim assist. It makes you aim centering better. You can't get banned for it. Still though, it kind of sounds like modifying a controller, which sounds illegal. Plus, why, why would you need that? If you're really good, you should let your skills show off. I know you keep telling me, upgrade my gear, upgrade my gear. What level am I? Eight? Yeah, I have a level nine gauntlet, but I can't upgrade it. I mean, can't wear it until I'm level nine. Bring back the target alive. Oh, I didn't mean to kill a civilian. Come on now. Like how they're looking for me, even though I'm up here. Got him, headshot. Headshot. They have no idea what's going on. I don't want to approach them and then they turn around and detect me. Got him. Me and what I think I'm doing. What you think you're doing? Get away from me. Now, Miss Duke, no need to fuss. Some quiet would be much appreciated. Okay, I called them. I know Aberline sent you. He's been on my trail. I piss off. I thought she break free. I said piss off. Yeah, Calm yeah. Down, piss Duke. off in there, lady. This business I need you to attend to. Let me out. Get me out of here. Oh my God! So much chaos. So much chaos. It is, and so many pros and players using the pros don't even want to show their hand cam. Sad. They use it to win more games. I would never buy something like that. You don't know how much I hate hackers. I would beat the, the crap out of them and would only buy a Cronus to burn it. <laughs> Be a waste of money. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The game crashed? <laughs> oh my god, out of all the situations there, the game decides to crash? Oh my, right as soon as I'm about to deliver. Wow, I'm gonna have to do that all over again. Oh, that's some BS. Wow, the game freaking crashed. Ironica. I right, me deactivate and reactivate the capture card for any delays. Oh, that's BS. <laughs> I can't believe the game's like, oh, I'm gonna just crash here. Right, like, I couldn't wait right after I delivered the person. Come on. Apparently, I think Chrono's like 99 bucks. Apparently, it's on ammo. That's not even worse. That's worse more than a con uh, controller. Ah, <sighs> that's not even worth it.
Ah, man, I can't believe the game decided to crash. Thank God. I no longer stream through the PS4 like I used to back in the day. And we have 45% of the game done. Nice. Not like Ronaldo's a town without work is nothing like yeah, it means zero if you're not actually showing up your skills. Like I feel that it's just a uh, a mess. Like you literally should let your work speak for itself. Please tell me it delivered it for me, because if not, I'm gonna be kind of sad. <laughs> I don't think so. The likelihood is like zero. Yep, it didn't. Damn it. I'm kind of salty on that one. Come on, boys. The disappointment in my eyes? Yeah, I, I knew it was, an, it was very unlikely that I was going to save that I got it, but I had to have hope. We had chatted the dude. What? Killed a civilian apparently. Get him. Get that dude. He fell. My lady. I barely get errors. Maybe yours is old. I have for three years. I no, my my PS4 is from 2016. I rarely get errors. This is the first time I've gotten an error in a very long time. Quiet, and I won't hurt you. What do you think you're doing? Get away from me! Now, Miss Duke, no need to fuss. Some quiet would be much appreciated. I know Aberline sent you. She's been on my trail for a while. Half my work here is done. You won't keep me long, you know. I've been in and out of prison more times than you can count. You can't uh -huh. keep me fenced in. Sure I can. Come on! Alright, come on. Made it.
Well, we got that. All right, we got a Templar hunt. skills do I have? Just one. Alright, I need five more. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, I glitched through that! <laughs> oh my god, you guys saw it first. Unintentional glitch. I didn't even know that was possible. She just got stuck there and glitched all the way to the top. Alright. Apparently that happened. God. Oh god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kill the target with a headshot. Oh, that's easy. I could just do that. I once uh, was talking smack to someone and he asked me, What do you want to crush? He does or IP leaked. You know those are both legal, right? Dude, how? I just want to see how this works. Oh my god. Can you stop doing that? Stop doing that! Look. Got him. I will go to sleep. Bye now, Prime Res. Have a good night's sleep. Oh, God. Got him, headshot. Headshot. Dude, we've almost conquered all of the land and we haven't seen the, the boss yet. Like we should have seen him by now, unless he's story related. I said nothing and blocked him. He used to be a friend of mine. It was 2020, but after that, I changed it. No crying anymore. And he used to show me websites where you can track people's IP. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty illegal. I wouldn't... I wouldn't have done that. Do that at all, because... You could literally get in a bunch of legal trouble. Gang stronghold. Free and protect captured rooks.
All right. Uh, I tried. I tried. Will it reset itself if, if I, um... I don't know if it resets itself if I, um, leave. If it does, that'd be great. Oh, it does. Okay. There we go. Please tell me I got it this time. That was kind of hard. I won't lie. Uh, you get four years in jail. Speed always gets booted offline or gets IP leaked and a crappy kid invited him to Fortnite. He joined and gets old Speed full information to stream and it was muted and then... And they said, give me money. He said, give me the money or I wouldn't leak. He can't now. He can't now go to jail since he's a kid. Yeah, but he can still face charges. Plenty.
I've heard about you. Lighters, do away with this nuisance. Got him. I killed I killed his butt. I right, well we eliminated Victor Lynch. I'm surprised he didn't come after me sooner. Yeah, it's a dangerous world out there, you never know. I want to download COD Mobile, but I need to delete apps I always use. How big is COD Mobile? I'm guessing it's pretty big since you're going to have to delete applications from your phone. I don't even know if you can download COD Mobile on your computer. I know some people play mobile games on the computer. Come on. Alright, this whole burrow's mine. Hands down for sure. I hear you've dealt with Mr. Lynch on your own terms. Now all that stands between you and the Strand are his ever-loyal cronies. Good luck. Thank you. You can download it on your computer, but you don't have one. Okay. This borough is ours for the taking. Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Evie and Jacob Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. Oh, yeah. All right, we freed this barrel. Thankfully. Uh, COD Mobile is 5 gigabytes. Jesus, 5 gigabytes for a mobile application? <laughs> With 60 million players and it currently has the best community and Snoop Dogg is on COD Mobile. And he's soon going to come into Warzone. Well, he joined FaZe Clan, so of course. But 5 gigabytes? That's pretty big for a mobile game. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the baddest thing I've seen, but it's pretty big. Hey. 
Alright, dude, we gotta run. I'm just glad we got all the the concert the concerts. We we control this barrel now and I just gotta get all the collectibles again. Look lady, I'm not I'm not that ugly. <laughs> Large bullet pouch schematic. All right, cool. This actually does help. All right, throwing knife upgrade three. I guess further in the story to find the schematic. Also that one too. Alrighty, where's this one at? Oh, it's literally right here. Uh, he's gonna have his own call outs. Imagine him rapping or with someone shoots, he says, I got a shot. Uh, he did his own. He, he, he has a deal, a voiceover pack in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, remember? So he's done that before. He had it with Call of Duty Ghosts. Remember when he was the announcer for in Call of Duty Ghosts? I don't know if you ever got the DLC for that. Oh wow, we fit through that? I didn't expect for us to fit through there. That was very unexpected. I remember, I remember that I had that as well. Yeah, like it's probably gonna be something similar like that. I don't think they're gonna allow him to say the N word. <laughs> Cause that would make Call of Duty the company look bad. You already know Activision's already covered in controversy. Hopefully all of that gets cleaned up once Microsoft takes control next year. here we already looted 11 chests that was pretty fast that means I got less to loot then I got four skill points Dude, I still can't believe we got the fire engines now. I ain't got that. There's a helix glitch out here. Dude, we gotta get all the way out here again. Oh god. Now yeah, we did all that mess. All right, I hope you get better experience soon. Ha 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 ha! What happened? I mean, it looked like he fell to me, guys. I 
Microsoft will carry that. <laughs> Imagine after Microsoft has long the games, Bill Gates will do a loading just for us players and it snaps. No, I mean, Xbox will be in charge of Microsoft, which means Phil Spencer will be in charge, not Bill Gates. I mean, Bill Gates really, have, really hasn't done anything with e Xbox related since, like, I think this is like the three. Th this is the first Xbox, maybe? I mean, he's had other people. And Phil Spencer's been around since I believe the Xbox One S. Yeah, Phil Spencer's the one that's directing all those moves. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, Bill Gates is the founder of Microsoft, but I don't think he's technically running the company currently anymore. I think. Dude, we gotta run. Gotta jump straight down. Oh, that was smooth. I thought I was gonna bump in, and that was really smooth. I forgot to say happy Easter. <laughs> yeah, happy Easter to you as well. Even though I know it's Monday for you, Deadly, but. <laughs> yeah, it's still Sunday over here. Dude, we gotta jump all the way down there. Jeez. We did all that mess. Oh wait, there's a chest here? Okay, it's gotta be down there. Alright, excuse me ladies. Let me just go around, circle around, because I don't feel like climbing up and then having to climb down. Okay, let's move. We got another chest over here. We got another chest over here. I luckily the door's already open. Oh, it's in here. It's in here. <laughs> Locked in to die. <laughs> I'm not that committed to the nerves. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, the strand. It's right now April 18th, so it's Easter, so people celebrate the day. Well, Sunday, it's always on Sunday, though. For you, it's April 18. My, for me, it's still April 17. Mm. 
Oh, what the? How did I teleport myself into? Not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Hey, why am I wearing my hood? Uh, we got a Helix glitch all the way over here. I got that mess. Bucks are winning against the Bulls? Really? I mean, I haven't kept up with basketball in several years, so... <laughs> I don't even know who's on whose team anymore. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. That's trying to figure out how to take all of this. Alright, so we got 30 more chests to find. I don't think we'll find them tonight, maybe. We finished the collectibles for this district, at least. We're pretty much closer to conquering all of it. The Bucks are doing great. I'm surprised. <laughs> then again, the Bulls haven't really been a real strong team since the Michael Jordan days. <laughs> oh, where's this chest? Wait, wait, is it in, uh, underground? Yeah, it's underground. The hell? Uh, there's gotta be an underground tunnel, maybe. It's even deeper still. Oh, there's a music box. I guess I'll take this while I'm here. Since MJ and the best rebounder, right? <laughs> but I'm surprised the Bucks are doing well. Oh, yeah, I'm like so out of touch with sports. I'm really out of touch. Alright, refill. If you're pleased, I'm pleased. Oh, I could buy gang upgrades. Oh. Training rooks. Bad powder, sure. We'll train the rooks. All right. Mad science. Okay, must complete turn mission. All right. I was curious if maybe there was like a down thing underneath here. Which I was right. Train safe is full again? Alright, hold on, let me get it. Just gotta make sure I got this. Um, where's the train? Train, train. 
No, I'm serious. Where's the train? Oh, it's over there. Alright, let me get the money from the safe and then come back to do some more looting. Alright, it's a good thing that the train safe is full because I'm broke. Might be able to buy one more gang upgrade. But yeah, I think we... At least the way I'm going so far, I don't know if we might beat the game next weekend. We'll see. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. Really, all that fuss over 3,000? Bruh. It's like, train is full, train is full. Why are you guys lying to me? Was, last time I checked, it was like 9,000. Ugh. Uh, the best rebounder helped MJ win three championships. He couldn't even score a single point. No one wanted him, and the manager from the Bulls said, Keep that crazy dude out of there. MJ said he could manage him. Really? Damn. <laughs> yeah. That's messed up. There's a lot of people that should should have been famous in the NBA that fortunately were just tossed aside. They were just tossed aside like garbage. Alrighty. Alright, let's let's get this helix glitch. My dad is a huge Bulls fan and Lakers. I mean I've been a Lakers fan since well I mean I'm originally from LA so <laughs> it'd be a no-brainer if I wasn't a Lakers fan. Oh my god. Okay, I was curious. I was like, how? Alright. We got that one pretty easily. Let's go get that beer bottle. Got everything here. Honestly, I don't even see any. Okay, I was like, where's the chest? Alright, let's get that chest and then we'll make our way down. Dude, this is a big carriage. Look at this. It's like a double decker bus. I guess a double de decker carriage. Oh my god, it ran me over. I should be dead. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even take damage, it just ran me over. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, people call him the greatest rebounder of all time. He could only do rebounds. He did 20 rebounds in a game. People thought he, that he couldn't do nothing. Really? Come on now. Just for that. People always gotta talk smack. I'm guessing that that's story related. No, not yet. Dude, this place is huge. Got all that mess. Let's go down here and then we'll make our way down. You guys are welcome, by the way. Nope. Okay, we're good. But you're right, when MJ was playing basketball, everyone and his team was pretty good. He wasn't the only great player on the team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, There's a lot of people that were just overlooked just because of one person. That's the sad part. Like, there's a lot of great players that are or just overlooked because of certain people on certain teams. It always happens. Not just in professional sports, but pretty much any level of sports. Got all that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's inside the house. I haven't even checked. How many skills points do I have? No, just four. Oh my god. Why did it do that when I ever exit it? Like, it presses the circle button automatically. Alright, so we're making it up here. Now we're looting this chest, and look, there's a kitty here. Alright, so we gotta go. Alright, we gotta go here. Oh my god. Three out of eight. There's a helix glitch all the way up here. I did not mean to do that, but I'll take it. Yeah, I did not mean to do that, but I'll take it.
Let's go over here. Come on. Thank you. MJ and his whole team were great players, even the one guy that could only do rebounds. My respect for him. Dude, just playing, gain a chance to play on the NBA is a privilege in itself. Like, you know how many people they had to, like, you know, scour to find you? Well, find that player. Like they, they pass up a lot of plenty of other potential players. Yeah. Kidding me? Okay, I gotta probably do it from this one. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Was not sure if I could rebound that perfectly. I could. Alright, excuse me, gentlemen, ladies. African. Yeah, I did that. But everyone in the NBA is good. Why did they made it the NBA? Uh, I'm guessing the same reasons why there's a, a you know, there's the there's FIFA and NFL. I'm guessing just to m make it seem professional. I don't know. Because you know how soccer has FIFA. Uh, let's see. Football has uh, Na National Football League, the NFL. Baseball has MLB. Hockey has NHL. No one knows what other sports have, but I'm pretty sure they all got a professional level on some, some degree. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to target the chest. I was like... Why is it targeting all that? Oh, we made it. Uh, UFC is the one boxing game. Right, right, right. I forgot. UFC is, uh, UFC is technically mixed martial arts. Boxing has its own league, but I forgot what it's called. There we go. Might as well get this since it's on the same roof. I wouldn't even dare to do UFC. No, UFC is brutal. Like, people have gotten their arms broken and other stuff. I wouldn't want to do boxing either because you've seen how some people turned out with head trauma. Same thing with football. I think that's since they're contact sports. Ooh. The effects go real, real wrong right away. Like with boxing, one hit in one wrong way, and you could end up paralyzed for the rest of your life, or with some sort of disorder. Huh. 
and go down here. Yeah, I don't care that you're in the war. Burn the skill point? Oh, I got five, nine. I thought I had six. Done. Yes, we'll go this way. Oh, we only got one pound from that, really? That's funny. Only one pound. done controlling all the burrows. Muhammad Ali died because he had a disorder. Reason why it's because of boxing makes you want to cry. Well, he also suffered from um... What was the disorder? Uh, he had Parkinson's. But yeah, I think that came from boxing too. I'm telling you, boxing's a very dangerous sport. You saw me and then you didn't. Carriage get broken or what happened? Oh, we got that musical box. Oh, we already got all of them. Damn, that was fast. Come on, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? The cart's gonna escape? Are you kidding me? The activity reset. All right. Let's get out of here. Come on. 
luckily I had my whole gang for that one. Yeah, I did cry when I heard that Muhammad Ali said that he would get knocked out by Mike Tyson. Of course. You can't, when, when, when you have a disorder like that, you can't keep up. There's no way. A guy in the UFC did his last match in Quay. He said that he has a son. Every time when I come back uh, there, he misses me. And when I come back home, he sees me like this. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Oh my god. I just blew in the air. I just flew in the air. Go back here to collect stuff. Should. Right here. Who's hiding? I like how they're like, where's the prize hiding? We're not hiding. Who said we were? They assumed we were hiding. It was all a lie. We gotta go straight down. Oh god! Not like that! Okay. Definitely not like that either. Where's your respect? Nice. No! Oh my god. I would never uh, talk smack to Mike Tyson and have to agree everything with him so he can't knock me out. Dude, Mike Tyson's kind of crazy. Didn't he? Didn't Mike Tyson one time bite someone's ear off or something? Or am I thinking of someone else? I don't think I'm thinking of, of someone else, but I could be wrong. Uh. All right. Oh my god, climb Evie, why are you going to the right? Oh my god. Lord help me. Oh my god. Evie, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, but he did that because the other fighter was coming very close to him. Right. I know that person's not gonna be happy. Right, this one's underground. There's gotta be some sort of tunnel here. I don't know. We'll come back for that one. Uh, he used to smoke weed 
What? Uh, and had a very bad, sad childhood. Who, Mike Tyson? I bet. I mean, you'd be surprised. Like, a lot of athletes have, like, very tragic backstories. And usually they only got good in the sport just to get out of where they were. Come on. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're good. Get out everything that's over here. Hey, you watch yourself. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I remember from here. There we go. I uh, was assassin of Ezio, uh... Yeah, he was in here earlier. He was in here earlier. Skills. Alright, what can I get? Demolition Derby or Combat Stamina? I think Combat Stamina will actually help. I'm officially ranked 9. Thank god I can finally equip the gauntlet. Weapons. There you go, equip level 9. Conquer the borough of Westminster, okay. Alright, firearms? I don't think I have anything else. All of them are asleep right now, probably. Yep. I mean, it is pretty late. That, well, I mean, it's 9 o'clock here. I don't know how late it is for Assassin, but... I know for most people, it's late. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. She can't have learned that at school for young ladies, could she? That is totally unacceptable, my goodness sake. I'm a thief? I doubt I'm a thief. I guess now we could go back to this chest. 5 a.m. in Europe for you? Damn. Yeah, it's 9.20 p.m. for me, but... 
We only got another 40 minutes left of exploding. I'm just glad we conquered this borough. I just got to do all the collectibles next time. And then we'll move on to Westminster. Excuse me. Alright, come on. Almost there. Will I stream one day PUBG? I, I've played it plenty of times in the past. I'm I'm actually pretty good at PUBG. But yeah, one day I will. I have it on my PS4. It's what I primarily played it on. But yeah, me and my friends usually always play. Uh, I don't know why I was gonna say Battlefield. Uh, PUBG. Oh my god. You're bad at PUBG? I mean, for me, it's actually not that hard of a BR. I haven't played it. Since they made it pay uh, free for play. Hold on. There's a door here. Aha. I was like, there's a reason they have this open. Golden spider silk. How the heck do I get out of here? Oh, please tell me I'm not lost going around in circles. Okay, here's the exit. Uh, do you think it's worth uh, deleting apps for COD Mobile? It's better than Warzone and Cold War, and let's not forget about Vanguard. Dude, anything beats Vanguard. I don't know, but it's up to you. I mean, if you want to play it, and you don't need those other apps, or they're not essential, I mean, why not? Imagine they had COD Mobile on console. I doubt it. <laughs> Hell no. I don't think that would do that. Personally. Fine. We're almost done getting all the collectibles. Everyone to play it? I wouldn't. I don't like mobile games. Mobile games leave a sour taste in my mouth. I would. I would not play it.
Do I cause a zip line? I could zip line into something, that'd be great. See what it's on. Press flowers. I only want to play because I'm sometimes tired of Warzone. I don't even know how people play Warzone. Like, it's cool for a while, but it gets tired. For me, I get tired of it fast. I don't know. I guess it's probably because I changed differently. I used to love Call of Duty. And I played it for two years straight when I had when I had Call of Duty Ghosts. But after that, I kind of gave up on Call of Duty. Several chests left. The hell? What's going on? Oh, gang war? Alright, we're good. You were probably raging if you played a war zone. No, I wouldn't rage. I just don't. I don't think I play. Like, I'm not really into it. Like I played Warzone when it came out. I was like, eh, just toxic. And lo and behold, that's exactly what became of the game. I'm surprised we've gotten almost everything. Like we're almost done looting this whole district. So next time for sure we'll be doing Westminster. I just want to finish trying to loot this district tonight. And then we'll do Westminster and then we'll have all the districts unlocked perfectly. There we go. We got an illustration here. Alright, we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go fast. I don't know why I'm having Sonic in my mind. Probably because I saw a bunch of ads for the Sonic 2 movie. Oh, there's a gold chest here? Where? Here, but I don't see it. Okay, if it's underneath me, there's got to be some sort of tunnel. <laughs> like, if they would have put that, I didn't even see the chest, to be honest. All right, so there's got to be some sort of secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Oh, I gotta watch Avatar again. Secret tunnel. Not seeing anything. It's a long shot, but it might be inside the club. I doubt it. 
I'm gonna go in there. I doubt it. If it is in here. Oh, it is in here. Well, how about that? That's the first time one of my hypotheses turned out right on that. I was just lucky. I'll be doing all the fight clubs next time. Not yet. Once I'm like level 10. <laughs> level 9 now. But once I'm level 10, we'll do all the fight clubs. I only need like, I think like one or two more upgrades for Eevee to be level 10. I was surprised it was inside the fight club. I was like, there might be a chance that that's where it might be. Oh god. Oh my god. Eevee. Where are you? Thank you. I was trying to do that for like the longest time. She was just like climbing in circles. Climbing in circles. Climbing in circles. Climbing in circles. Oh my. Got him. I wasn't sure that was gonna work, but it did. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. The other way. Go back, Eevee. Hey, look, Harvey. Harvey Dent, Steve Harvey. That's as much as I know any Harvey. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, I have no idea what my neighbors are doing. I just hear them pounding away. Um, what? Oh, okay, it's on the line. I was like, what? I didn't get it. Thanks, Evie. Not what I wanted to do. Totally not what I wanted to do. I wanted to climb the line. The right. The right. Evie, how hard is it? To get on a freaking line. Thank you. A what? Alright, maybe I could jump on the line. Not what I'm trying to do. Alright, I got an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but I got an idea. What if I drop right here? Oh, it worked. I lost health, but it worked. <laughs> oh, gotta love my brain. For thinking thoughts outside the box. No, climb over. What are you doing, Eevee? Thank you. I've got all the illustrations for this district. I'm pretty sure that's everything over here, and then straight to Westminster, the last district that we need to unlock. But guys, move. Alright, we're climbing up, and it's straight ahead. You been killing it today? Yeah, I've been trying. <laughs> I've been advancing a lot. We should I thinking. I don't I don't think so, but there might be a chance we might finish this game next weekend. At least exploring wise. I don't know about the story.
Exploring wise for sure. Story maybe. Cause we only got one more big district. Like I still gotta do all the side missions for this district. I don't think we'll finish that tonight. But as far as exploring, we almost done. Oh my god. Thank you. Collect it. Bruh. Really? I don't even want to fight you guys. Come on. You guys took a push too... They took a push too far, guys. Come on. What happened, pal? I thought you were mad. Oh, wait, you're dead. Yeah, he's dead. All I did was just push him by accident. They all got pissed. No, Evie, stand on the thing. Look. Oh, I need to go in here anyways. And we got that too. A two for one special. Alright, uh, uh, the last three chests are over here, and the last helix glitch is over here. Okay. Do 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 do, crushing it. Oh god, nope. Nope. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was gonna hit that and fall to my death. <laughs> I was like, here we go again. get this oh okay that works all right so we officially got all the helix glitches i'm only missing two more chests wait oh that's in west ministry okay i was confused for a moment Oh my god, we're in. Wait, is the chest on top of me? Bruh. Are you kidding me? I, I climbed all the way down here. <laughs> I got... Ah, gotta love overcomplicating things. Ah. Last chest of the district, and we'll have all the collectibles. Oh my god. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Go straight down. What? Oh, right here. There we go. That's officially all the chests. Alright, so we got all the collectibles. We got uh, a murder. We got two Charles Dickens mi missions. And a murder mystery. Or a dreadful crimes. I don't know. I called the murder mystery from from Unity. Mm, let's do a Charles Dickens mission. It's been a long time since we've done any of these. Alright, so we did all the collectibles in this district. What are you laughing about? Oh wait, you're dead. Alright, let's go talk to Charles Dickens, see what's happening. Oh, look guys, fire engine. Let's go. Get off. 
Give me a ring the bell. Move out of the way. It's an emergency. Fire. Fire. We only got 20 minutes. Come on. Fire. Fire, gentlemen. Fire. Oh, my God. Look, guys. I'm so sorry. There's a fire, and I'm trying to get over here. I really love ringing that bell. Wow. All right. 50 Berkeley Square. I'm going to get the most haunted house in London. Haunted, huh? All right, we're going to investigate the most haunted house in London. I didn't know, Custer, you had a senpai. Who, me? It's... No, I don't. <laughs> How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. All right. Bring it on, Charles Dickens. Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. Okay. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the specter of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. Okay. She could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her... Your description says senpai group. Oh, that's that's the record label of the, of the music I use. That's the name of the record label the attic is of the music I use. Let's go. Disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. All right. His grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Okay, so he's telling me apparently this house is super haunted. Easy girl. We're about to find out. Shall we? We shall. So this is the most haunted house in London. Doesn't look like much. Though this house is vacant. Some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Slamming shutters. Sounds like Hocus Pocus to me. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. Agreed. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest uh... of the world is a tiny hole in the door. Daddy, what? <laughs> what does that mean? Madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. The cradle. A sudden draft. Nothing more. All right, so far nothing in this haunted house. My word, perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter. Re really? It is not at all unsettling. Aha, uh -huh, Charles Dickens is scared. <laughs> Great, hearing a kid's laugh in a haunted house. That's not creepy at all, right, guys? All right, come back here, you little s nugget. I just gotta take one of them. You're mine, kid. You're mine. Dude, these kids run fast. That little squirt is running fast as hell. Got him. Let me go, you moke. Moke. All right, we'll find out the explanation with Charles Dickens. I'm guessing those kids were the ones making all that noise. Charlie over here was scared. <laughs> I found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. I have it. Secret door, huh? That was a bit too British? What? What was too British? 
Oh, come on, they have levers. So this is how it works. Impressive. Oh, hello there. Love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. Kill the madman. enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. I did it. He's dead. She just died. He's like, I did it, and then he collapsed dead. I had to speak to Dickens, and I looted his body, by the way. I don't think he'll need that money. I thought I was sent by you, Mook. Look, sir. I teach myself. Alas, the myth has been discredited. Of course. There was no ghost in Barclay Square. Of course Just not. Just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. You got several. Alright, keen swords, Charles Dickens, keen swords. Alright, we got another Charlie mission over here. Hell's Bells. Alright, let's do this one. Alright, how many skills do I got? Only one. Alright, you guys don't mind if I uh, steal a carriage, right? You don't mind, sir? Oh my god, she ran me he ran me over. There you go. Oh my god. It's so foggy now I can, I can barely see. Alright, let's do another mission with Charles Dickens. If I could finish the side quest, that'd be great. I'll just have to do some quick cargo hijacks next time. Alright, here he is. Hell's Bells. Uncover the truth behind some paranormal thefts. <laughs> There's Paran been a spate of rather intriguing thefts about town recently. Okay. Robberies in London are hardly supernatural events. Right. They look like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been under the influence of some supernatural power. They're probably drugged. I'm not so foolish. Under the claims of some supernatural power, I'm pretty sure they got drugged or something. Would not be surprised. I right, speak to the copper. Uh, how the heck? Hold on, hold on. There's a window up here. What's that man done? Rob the pawnbrokers down the road. Huh? What? A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. Okay, so. Let's pretend that I believe you. Okay, so. If I had to guess, they're probably getting either hy hypnosis, like a really powerful hypnosis, or they're being drugged, or both. I'm gonna go watch Swag's new video. Not a problem. Not a problem, Deadly. Not a problem. Alright, speak to the pawn shop owner. I don't think they're gonna need this. Why is London so foggy right now? Like, we had clear skies, everything. Now I can't even see. It's so dark! Literally. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I probably ran that dude over. Nothing like your daily dose of destruction. What can you 
tell me about the robbery? There's not much to say. Most of the items did come from the same seller, Enzio Capelli. Sorcerer en Enzio Capelli. Uh -huh. Famous showman from Italy. Uh -huh. Several weeks ago, he was forced to pawn his family heirlooms, debts. So that's what he's doing. The address of the last person who redeemed something of his, a lovely pearl necklace. That helpful? Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. Gain. Stop her! Stop! Somebody stop that thief! Yeah, they're hypnotized. Dude, lady, slow down! I don't know how I caught her. Where am I? What's happening? You took something from a pawn shop. They're, they're hypnotized. They got a hypnotic trigger. Easy, but I remember something silver flashing in front of my eye. Hypnotist. Then I heard a sort of bell. Next thing I know, I'm here with you. I told you. And, hip and hypnosis is real. I know, because one of my professors actually did it on me. <laughs> I was like, what? It's a real thing. But yeah. Locate the last buyer. But it doesn't work it, it, if you have a strong mind, though. Or unless you let them. So I'm not sure how this guy's doing it. I locate the last spire. Uh oh, another robbery. This chap might lead me to the demon. Okay, tell him. Climb onto the same car as the thief. Tell the thief without getting spotted. Try no guarantees though. No, no, no. Get off. Throw the body down. I don't know what is that strange lady doing. She's a bit old for I see, isn't she? All right. I'm blended. I'm be fine. I'm what's wrong with the city. You're what's wrong with the city, pal. There we go, climb on the same car without getting spotted. I am not technically moving. Luckily I bought this chameleon ability. <laughs> got off what no. 
Oh, come on, man. How did I get spotted? That was BS right there. I think I was supposed to hide in here. Are you freaking kidding me? Right. Right, I don't care. Mr. Enzio Capelli, I presume. So you're responsible for the theft of your own jewels. Yep, he's hypnotizing me. Very much mistaken, aren't you, my child? No. Yes, I'm very much mistaken. Hold on, hold on. Great, I'm getting hypnotized. You are very much mistaken, and now you are so very, very tired. Aren't you? Yep, getting hypnotized. Yes, I'm very, very tired. Great. Now, you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? See here, I put the hypnotic trigger, which is the ringing of a bell. The hell? What's going on? Where am I? You've been arrested for Is it gonna work? Yeah, it worked on me. Intriguing. Unfortunately. I can't remember a jot of it. Let's get you out of here. I remember the AK twelve from Ghost, yeah. They won't prosecute on account of your losing your mind. Be free, little chicken. Great. So we got hypnotized and put in jail. The last one was BS. Alright, so we did that. Oh, we got another Charlie mission. I will definitely be doing that next time, and then I gotta hijack, car, do cargo hijack, got a murder mystery, and then we'll be off to Westminster. And that's it. We'll have to fog the whole map and just focus on the story. Just crazy. Alright, let's see how much synchronization we got. The growl from Warzone is basically the AK-12. Really? I mean, like I said, I haven't played Warzone since... <sighs> I don't even remember when was the last time I played Warzone. I think it was like last year I played it. I just want to see what, what the synchronization is. I think, I think... I hope we're like at 50%. I'm pretty sure we are. We'll find out. And exactly 50%. Let's go, W. <laughs> we need I can predict the future. By the future, I mean like for five seconds. Alright. Alright, guys. That's going to be it for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm real tired, but tomorrow we'll be... Not tomorrow. Next weekend, <laughs> we'll be continuing more Assassin's Creed Syndicate and advancing more through this game. Hopefully. And yeah, I don't know why Spotify thing's not working. Okay, should work now. Um, but if you guys want to leave a like on this video, feel free to like. It really does help boost the video to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. Um, to catch up on my latest uh, YouTube live stream shorts, videos, and other content on my channel. I'll be working on my next. Big Assassin's Creed video, which is going to be about Ezio. Probably three times the size of this one, maybe. In order to unlock the growl is to do five kills within one minute. Really? It's going to be a card in Warzone unless you group, may group up on a squad or something. But yeah. That's going to be it for me, guys. 
Oh, also, guys, let me end the poll. <laughs> I almost forgot about this poll. Right, let me end the poll real fast. I almost did that again. <laughs> I did that the other day. All right, so I had asked the question, do you think the assassins were cowards for laying the Templars control London for over 100 years? Um, 11 people voted on this. 36% said yes, they could have taken it back. 27% said we didn't know the situation. Uh, the... Uh, 27% said we're taking it back now. Who cares? And 9% said no, the Templars were too strong. All right. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. Happy Easter to those that celebrated today. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Um, yeah. Have a great one, too, Crimson. I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoy your week. I'll see you guys next weekend. Thank you. Much love. You need to do with an AR? Really? Oh, no, with an assault rifle is not that bad, but to catch up with people like that, like, it'd be easier with an explosive. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys have a great night. I'm tired. Hope you guys, I'll, I'll see you guys next weekend for sure. <laughs> anyways, thank you so, so much for stopping by. And I'll be putting up some shorts throughout the week, so be looking out for that. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Much love, much appreciation. See you guys.